I think it was indeed we are very honored to have Kaushik sir here amidst us to take the session that to on a weekend on a holiday. And so I think if, uh, how many of you are doing inter here? Majority? Final? Few. Okay. So uh, what is the main, main reason you came for the session? Can I know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have been here. Louder, please. So, we are blessed, very blessed to have you here, sir, once again. And I think your student fellow for fan following will still continue. So, very, yeah, very happy. So, I'm not here to tell much about the topic. So, I think this uh, topic is here. Yeah, yes, yeah, so, uh, first of all, the topic is the Allah period. So, that is the reason I'm not telling anything. Sir is an expert in that, he will be telling you. But one thing I can tell is, I always have been. Uh, one amongst the students and if you know I have been a faculty before coming to the council and I was in da direct taxation, auditing and IT which is a subject which is not liked by most of us PCA students and uh, the IT also has taken out the subject. So unfortunately I was part of the subject but uh, I was able to do justice. So this is one area and one uh, field of SAIC which I really cling on to more than members. So students are always the part and parcel of SAIC. So I was standing here, Yar was talking to me. I was thinking, Yar, why you are little tense? Brahma, you have to pull up, you have to pull up, which is fine. But you have such a beautiful crowd here, you have to make full use of that. And the whole credit, I think, it goes to the Sikaza team here. So maybe it will happen. I think uh, they have been working relentlessly for the time from since they have taken charge. And this is an indication that uh, they will be able to do better. So actually, I would like to introduce uh, our national conference here. I'll take this opportunity. So we have a national conference for students scheduled on September 2nd and 3rd. So I think this is one kind of a signature event for Sikaza and SARC as a whole. So every year this happens. So those who have, I don't know, how many have you been part of this event before? Anyone? Last students conference, anyone has been part of the students conference here? Oh. So I think this is a wonderful opportunity for you to be a part of that. You have very reputed speakers, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of meetings with entrepreneurs. You have paper presentation sessions where people come from different parts of the country. So it's a wonderful session and my plus point among all of this is I used to attend students conference for one reason to make friends. <laughs> to make friends. Sessions, presentations are the second but the most important aspect which I find is networking. So I ask CA students, you know, how much restricted your life is, <clears throat> your classes, your uh, maybe um, those who have done BCom, yes, it's an added bonus, but those who have taken the CPT route, foundation route, you're directly coming to the classrooms, writing exams and then going and getting employed. So for you people, I think this is one excellent opportunity for you to get in touch with other students, get to know what is happening there. Maybe people come from almost all parts of the country, as I told you, it is not restricted to Chennai alone. You will have people coming from different parts of the state. And so it's a wonderful opportunity for you to make friends, network, understand what is happening there. And this will also be helpful, not at this point of time, trust me, maybe at the later stage, those you have met during these days will be the pillar of support. It is not that what you get when you go for an employment, you get, these are colleagues, professional colleagues, but the friends are the ones you make during your inter, CPT and final days. So make sure you make a bunch of friends, come to the national conference, at least make sure the first day you make around 50 to 100 friends, at least you meet 50 to 100 friends, maybe that circle might get reduced. For 100 pair of meat panda, maybe 20 you might deal with properly. So make sure that happens. Two days completely utilize the conference. Get a lot of innovative inputs from the speakers there. We have fabulous speakers lined up and topics also. And also invite each and every one of you to do paper presentations. So we have paper presentations happening there. So it actually uh, helps you in your days ahead. You may have a paper presentation. I think for advanced ITT or ITT you will have a paper presentation. But other than that you will understand how uh, or what is the expectation from students? Say maybe unless and until we compete, we don't know where we stand. So it is high time that you compete, understand what is the expectation from the society and scale up to that. So I invite you for all of you for this students conference. I think the 
our passes for that closes very soon. So I think as soon as it is open, I would want each and every one of you to register because there is a deadline and some early bird offers I guess. Yeah, maybe there will be few. So normally it closes very very soon. So make use of this opportunity. Uh, register for this and I wish to see each and every one of you there. So all the council members, Jindu council, Sendu council members will be coming. So all the good fans. Most of the faculties also might be there, good speakers will be there. So time for you to interact with them also. So please be there. So how many of you will register? Can I get a count? Other than that, you can see the other one. Yes, little more hands up. Little more. How many people are you? Yes. So I was already raised in that. Yes. Okay, so welcome each and every one of you there and please continue with your preparations for inter and final and make a very good plan. So as uh, my, I am very fortunate to be a student of MP Vijay Kumar sir. So I used to tell this in every stage I go. Very fortunate and lucky I was a student of MPV sir and really I'm proud to tell that I am the student. So this is one thing sir always tells every batch he goes. Have this very little ego compared to your friends sitting next to you. So when you are trying to copy something or trying to get some answers from your friends, this is the one word he tells, have the little ego that you are a little superior to them. Have a very solid plan. Planning to say this? Or it is a reverse way. Failing to plan is? You didn't tell me, I said it wrong, but still you didn't correct me. Please have a very solid plan, guys. All the very best to each and every one of you. And uh, I wish to see each and every one of you sitting on this side of the dais in another three or four years' time. And as a part of the DAP committee, I'm a part of the Digital Accounting and Assurance Committee and Student and Young Women and Young Members Empowerment Committee. So any queries or any help related to these two committees also, please feel free to me. Okay, consider me as your buddy. Because I am just I qualified five years back only, so don't have to have that notion of all. Just five years back I qualified, and fortunately, unfortunately, I'm on the other side. So very very happy to address you again. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, ma'am. Now I request C. A. Rekha Marshall, ma'am, regional council member, to facilitate as speaker for the day. C. A. Kaushik Mukesh, sir. I request B. Ma'am to come on to the dais. I don't want to discuss that. So I made 5,000 deposit in his account and I started live trading because this is a Sunday, trade will be closed. So Friday I already bought the shares, sold the shares, stop loss, stop loss limit, stop loss market, hedging and short selling, everything I have done. I have the videos with me now. There uh, uh, another name will come, that's not me, that's my student account. I deposited 5,000 because I don't want to show my demand. Again, uh, the you people will shout here. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So therefore, I have uh, taken another account to pray. I recorded that and I will show you that. I'm okay. And uh, tomorrow or a day after tomorrow, once the trade starts, Monday na, 9 to 3 it will start tomorrow in the morning. Once the trade starts, deposit as low as 10 rupees. Do you know how much I deposited in his account? 5,000. Do you know how much I utilized? 10 rupees. I bought the share, I sold the share. I bought the share, I sold the share. Today, in his account, Totally, 4992 is there. 8 rupees is only deducted. So as low as 10 rupees, you can trade on stocks. As big as the 4,000, 5,000 crores, you can trade. Hope you can understand the volumes of trade. 10 rupees also you can do. 10,000 crores also you can do. So no one will stop in the stock markets. But we are clear to the point, right? And uh, we plan four sessions totally. Uh, First session will be on the basics of stock markets, understanding how the stock market actually works. This will be the game changer for the today's session because first you need to understand who will be there inside the stock exchange. Because always uh, in news channels everywhere, what you will see, you will see one building, you call it as BSC, when you see how it looks like. So you don't see how the shares look like, 
you don't know what is a demand account so but today we are going to understand so today we are going to understand how a demand actually works whenever you give a buy tick how many of you have already traded a small trade 10 rupees or 5 rupees 100 rupees something some trade a uh, little lemma but okay good how many of you know the candlesticks candlesticks complete analysis just uh, you know that there is a candle which can never be lit uh, uh, thank you so today what we are going to learn is in and out regarding the candlesticks after the today session it's my guarantee when you see tomorrow market opening or market closing first you will understand what is happening there you can tell yes this is a bearish trend this is a bullish trend resistance level support level okay when uh, uh, rebounds will happen or when uh, any other retake concepts have to come everything in clarity you will understand after this session so the session is absolutely from the market oriented no subject included here a subject represents a bookish subject i am talking about I am not going to tell about uh, anything which is related to the syllabus content out of the syllabus from the market point of view. What are the things that we need to keep in mind? How to invest and how not to invest? When to invest, when not to invest? When to enter, when to exit? How anyone can understand that market is going to fall? So for everything, there is only one thumb rule and that is the candlesticks. Candlesticks is the heart and soul of stock markets. So today we are going to understand how a candlestick actually operates. When you see CNBC profit, Bloomberg, etc., how can I interpret that particular candlestick? And moreover, maybe you don't know. No one have any solid opinion on stock market today, and even in the next coming another 10,000 years, no one will have a perfect opinion on stock market. If I perceive that stock will grow, another person on the other side will think that stock will come down. Or else, how the buyers and sellers will be there? Buyer always buy to increase the share price or decrease. He vote for high in share prices or fall in share prices. Seller, this is the highest price. In future, it will fall. That means two opinions are there or not. That is stock market. Stock market is all about a opposite opinions. But who is winning the game is all about who moves the market. If the pessimistic attitude with the stock market is more than optimism, markets will fall. How that has to be understood, not just uh, theoretically to read it. I will show you the charts, but probably you can understand there are so many websites where you can find the live trading and quotations that are happening. Website number one will be tradingview.com. Okay, what is that? Trading. trading. Very, very popular. Very popular. Tradingview.com. And second one is a Chittorga. Maybe you might have heard or not, I don't know. There is another website called as a Chittorga. So, are you need to write that? Do you know spelling? Then why are you writing? <laughs> so, I will show that after that you copy. So, Chittorgar is another website where you can find the complete financial details of a company in a summary. P ratio, how much? Book building ratio, how much? Book to uh, equity, how much? How much is the last traded price? Opening price, gap ups, gap downs. Every single detail about a shop, a website will maintain. The website name is Chittorga. I will show you. And another website. Third one is Money Control. Hopefully everyone might have heard about this Money Control. Very popular. But Indians may be popular actually. Next to fourth one. Zeroda. Zeroda I am not promoting it. <laughs> because I opened an account with that. I have to tell that my interface is Zeroda. Because I love to use Zeroda because I used all the others. But I find it very much beneficial because Watch list you can add seven screens totally in Zeroda, whereas it is restricted to four, five, and all other demands. Listen, to everyone. Yes. And moreover, tell me, I will go to Zeroda website. I will log in. I will send a video screenshot for me. I think you know that how to open a demand account. I will show you today. No problem. But still, you have to send a video proof. You have to take a paper. Then you tell a number. You have to write that. You have to stand like a uh, person in prison. And you have to take a photo and you need to upload to Zeroda, then they will tell that you are registered with Zeroda. What is, what is open here? When you pay that amount, when you open, what is open there? Huh? Everyone, not me. Trading account is open. Who is here to open a DMAT? DMAT has to be opened with 
a depository in India. So what is the difference between a depository and a broker? Zeroda is a broker. Depository is a person with whom your shares are held in electronic form. Zuru, I will ask you one question, answer this. You opened a demand account. You didn't buy the share. Allowed, not allowed. I opened a demand account, but I didn't trade on that. Allowed, not allowed. Answer. Then depository is not involved. It's only a trading account. Trading account you didn't use. When trading account you didn't use, how the depository work will start? Clear? I bought the shares using my trading account. Now trade happened through Zeroda and your shares are electronically held by a depository. And how that happens, we are going to learn. Hopefully you are clear everyone. Let us very, very important. Very important. What do you mean by a market order? Have you heard a market order? What do you mean by a market order? What do you mean by a limit order? What do you mean by a stop loss market order? What do you mean by a stop loss limit order? What do you mean by an aftermarket order? What is the difference between regular order and cover orders? All these things you have to learn before you start trading and taking a position in market. Because often I see people when I ask, are you investing in stock market? Probably they will tell that I invested. Invested in what? That is the first question. Invested in what? They don't know the difference between trade and invest. Investment happens on a CNC. Trade happens on a MIS. Difference? We are going to learn today. Hopefully, we are learning everyone in the class. Right? So, the subject agenda for the today's uh, seminar is in and out regarding, I should not call it basics of stock exchange. We are going to some amount of an advancement as well because Basics like candlesticks will never come. Candlesticks is a technical analysis of stock market, not a fundamental analysis. It's a technical analysis, experts will do. So we have to understand that level. So therefore today in this session we take an opportunity to understand and to apply in a real time scenario how the markets actually work, yeah. when to buy, when to sell, when to enter, when to exit, all the details we are going to learn and really, really thankful for the Sikasa for arranging this particular seminar and I am very much thankful to all the members of the management committee as well. So really such a great opportunity to the students as well because there are so many people who can speak on stock markets but uh, students are consolidated in one single place and I was given an opportunity to understand how it actually works. So let us start with our seminar. So session number one will be understanding the stock exchanges. So first one, what is a stock market? Am I audible to everyone? Yes. Clear? So what is a stock market? First let us understand that. Before even understanding what is a stock market, market is a place where something is bought and something is sold. In a stationary market I will sell stationary. In a vegetable market I will sell vegetables. Like that there should be a place to buy and sell the stocks. When I use the word stock, it doesn't mean just a share, it's a share, debentures, derivatives, currencies, bullion like gold and other commodities as well. Everything put together will be called as a stock. Everyone understood? Yes, so stock is not just a share. Share is one of the smallest component of a stock. Stock has so many things inside. So very important thing is the commodities today. About commodities, in this session I am not going to put anything. We are restricting our discussion to the shares for today. Listening? Yes. Shares. Completely my discussion will be on shares. Reasons are two. Number one, even if I explain practical insights on commodities, you can't trade. Number two, even if I practically imply and if you apply, the scale in which the people apply commodities is very less when you compare it to the shares. So therefore I am not putting commodities into the checklist today. We are going to discuss completely, absolutely about what you can do in everyday life with regard to the stock markets. Let us start. Please see there, what is a stock market? First one, stock market is a place where 
various stocks of the companies are being bought and sold in an organized and regulated manner. So everyone have your uh, notes also with your pens and notes as well. Yes or no? So first keep writing down because so many concepts I can't put on the slide. Listening. So you need to start writing. Put number one, stock market. Simplify and write down everything. Especially when it comes to the candlesticks. You have to write the notes. Otherwise you can't remember that. Okay, number one, stock market is a place. Stock market is a place where securities are bought and sold. Securities are bought and sold. That's all. Point number two. Role of stock markets. So these mics also will work. Yes, sir. Role of So roll of stock markets. Uh, I'll ask you a question. Answer this before even we start. Let us see how many will have a clarity on this. First tell me. Any asset will generate GDP to the country. Statement made is true or false. Listen, I agree. Any asset, asset is something which generates some revenue or a cash flow. It's called as an asset. I mean, clear everyone. Yes. Anything which generates a revenue or a cash flow or some economic benefit will be called as an asset. Okay. I'm not talking about fictitious assets in balance sheet, please. Maybe on that basis you answer. <laughs> No, no, I am not asking about that. I am asking you, any asset other than fictitious assets on balance sheet, maybe this is correct statement. Any asset will generate GDP to the country. Statement made is true or false, everyone. Why? Why any answer? Telling true or false is easy, but I am not asking any objective question for you. So can you come with a reason why? Look, for example, they manufactured this uh, podium. This podium requires wood, any other uh, adhesives, etc. Everything when you, a person has to buy that generates revenue to the country. Any asset you take, any asset you take, you wear a shirt and a pant, that's an asset. Asset for someone, it may be a current asset or a fixed asset. I'm not talking fixed asset. Listening, everyone. Uh, any asset will generate GDP to the country. Statement made is true or false made. On a prima facie opinion, answer is absolutely yes. Any kind of asset will generate some GDP in the nation. Asset don't mean current asset, fixed asset only. Intangibles also will be included. A live example I will tell you. You all are educated. You completed your CA. Knowledge is an asset. With that knowledge, you will develop the country. You means not just one. Everyone in a group, on a consolidation basis, if you see, everyone helps the nation and the nation will grow because of you coming into the employment or in practice or a faculty, etc. Whatever you do, you are generating some revenue to the country. You are generating GDP because of the knowledge you gain. Hello? Yes, sir. Point is, there is only one asset which you do not generate any kind of GDP to the nation. Do you know what it is? Financial assets like shares. Everyone will be surprised. So share market is a very big market. Yes, but that doesn't uh, act any kind of uh, aid to the government. I will tell you why. See here, I will give you one classic example. I started a partnership firm. Everyone please listen carefully. I started a partnership firm. Three partners started. A, B and C. Profit sharing ratio is equal. Divided equally among all the three. 
So three partners are there. They started a business. So obviously what will happen? They will infuse some capital to the business. They will start buying some assets with that capital. They run the business. After some number of days, what will happen? They want to divide the partnership. They want to close and dissolve it. At the time of dissolution, hopefully everyone know this. What will happen? What will, what will happen to the assets at the time of dissolution? Everyone, please, loudly. Assets will be sold. Are realized. Very good. Sold and realized. The proceeds will be realized. With that proceeds, what will we do? Pay all the outside liabilities. Clear? Yeah. Yes. That means, even if any one of the partner want to leave, you need to first dissolve and you need to restart your partnership once again. That's called as a reconstitution without dissolution. Yes. Listening? Yes. But in company, if you observe, we are talking about share. Share is there for a partnership or for a company. Okay. Uh, now observe the situation, how it looks like. In a company, I invested my money. I want to leave the company. I will go to company and tell, please take my money or uh, please give my money back and take your shares. Will they allow or will not allow? I answer, yeah. I purchased shares of TCS. One crore I invested, example. I want to exit from TCS. What I have to do? I have to go to TCS and tell Ratan Tata, Tata, Tata. Please take my shares back. You may one crore. Will he give? Will not? Are you answer? No. What I have to do? Sell. What I have to do? Sell. Sell where? Ah, for that stock market, sir. Who started? You have understood? Yes, sir. Like partnership in company, you can't give the shares back to the company because it becomes a reduction of share capital or a buyback. Which has to happen as per the provisions of section 66 or section 68 of companies act. It has nothing to do with the uh, stock markets. I think you understood the point, everyone in the class. Okay? My point is, if you observe the whole scenario of how the financial markets run, so if you see how the financial markets actually run, see here, I will give you an example. There is only an asset which generates GDP to the country. The only asset is real assets only will generate GDP. I will give you good examples as well. See here. I purchased a land. I purchased a land. Land, land pays taxes. Land pay taxes. Vacant lands also will pay taxes. If I sell, I will pay tax. If I buy, I have to pay stamp duty. Some or the other way, a land being a real asset will generate revenue to the country. Help everyone. Yes, Second type of asset. Second type of asset. Gold. Gold is an asset or not, everyone? Yes, it's a real asset or not? Yes, Tell me, gold purchase, gold so, uh, sale, TCS will get attracted. Maybe, you don't know, but uh, believe me, TCS concept is there. From the taxation point of view. So try to understand, you purchase a car, you purchase a land, you sell a land, TCS will get attracted. Subjected to some conditions. So try to understand clearly to the point, gold, when you sell, tax will get applied. Clear? Yes. So, there is a GST on that, there is an income tax on that. So, all taxes will be collected by the government. Apart from the taxes, gold itself will have an appreciation in their value. Number three, when it comes to the financial assets, financial assets don't generate GDP to the country. Why? First, let me put it very, very clearly. Because if I tell as a statement, no one will agree. I will show you the solid rock, solid proof for that. So listen carefully to the point. Kaushik Mukesh is an individual. My, I have my balance sheet. You are another person. You have your own balance sheet. I am not talking about Kaushik Mukesh or you or any other 10 persons. I am talking about India. Let's prepare a balance sheet for entire India. Listen to my voice properly, please everyone. Prepare a balance sheet for the country called as India. India will have so much population or not? Sir, I am talking about from a small infant till a person about to die. Everyone let us consider 140 crore population. Listening? Yes, sir. Take a balance sheet for them. Now you should tell, I should listen. Share is an asset for Kaushik Mukesh. Liability for a company. Yes, Loan taken by Kaushik Mukesh. Liability for me, asset for a bank. Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. Loan is a fixed asset, current asset, or a financial asset. 
loan is a financial asset. Gone are those days where people used to call loan as a current asset. Now everything has changed. Financial asset, uh, recognition and valuation also came now. India is 107 and 109. So we are no more recognizing loans like that. There is a separate standard for financial assets where loans will be considered. Embedded derivatives are considered. So I am not going beyond a particular rate. Try to understand this clearly. Loan is a fixed asset or a current asset or a real asset or a financial asset. Everyone. Loudly. Asset. Very good. Share. Asset. I invested. Asset for me or a liability? Asset. For a company? Liability. Bank gave me a loan. It's a liability, liability for me. Asset. asset for the bank. Clear? Yes. Sir. Land purchased from him. Your name please? Pratish. Pratish. From Pratish I purchased the land. Asset. asset for me, liability for him. No. This is a real asset. If you take a balance sheet of entire India, Financial assets will cancel to the financial liabilities. Are you understanding the point or not? What remains in balance sheet is only what? Real assets. That means financial assets don't add any value to the government except collection of small taxes. STT, due and distribution tax. And the small amount of taxation is only the thing, but it does not add any wealth to the country. But why this became most important? Stock market is an everyday burning issue. Are you understanding or not? Yes, I don't see Parliament of India every day in news channel. I don't see abode of Lord Venkateswar in Tirupati every day in news channel. But I every day see one thing in news channel. Stock markets. Why? When it could not generate any kind of wealth to the country, why it became very popular? Because of one good reason. It is a fuel to run the company. Because Companies are running safely and there are liquidities created in the market. That's just because of stock markets. Hopefully everyone understood the meaning of financial asset and liability now. Everyone, financial asset to me is a financial liability to some other. This is what India's 107 also say. Here, share is a pakka financial asset. Classic example of a financial asset is a share. Loan is a financial asset. Asset to the person who gave, liability to the person who has taken it. Reasoning everyone? Yes, sir. So therefore, in this outset, try to understand from now, don't call share as investment or something like that. There is a technical word given for the share in this uh, uh, country. What is that? What is a stock exchange? It is a uh, trading place for financial assets like shares. Debentures, derivatives, etc. Do you know what is a derivative? Yes. Last one hour of the session, we will put only on options and futures. Let's try to understand them. Clear? Next. It is an indicator of overall economy and GDP. So you said that it doesn't add. It doesn't add to GDP, but whenever there is a GDP change in the country, stock markets will reflect that change. Interest rates increased. What will happen? Market only take hike in interest rates. Market will raise, market will fall. Do you understand what I say? Interest rates increased in the market. Okay, interest rates increased in the market. But RBI hiked 1% interest. Markets will react positively and negatively for this. Keeping all the other factors intact. Only interest rate hike. How it impacts the stock market? Raise or fall? Fall. Reason is I will tell you very clearly. Some people may have a wrong reverse opinion, but that is wrong. Why I will tell you? Tell me, whenever interest rates are increased, I am already investing in the company. Example, I invested 10 crore rupees in a particular company just a week back. There's a name. I invested in debentures here. Floating rate debentures I invested. Sorry, fixed rate debentures I invested. They are giving me 7% interest. RBI hiked interest rate to 8%. Tell me, if I would have invested 10 days after, I would have what? How much percent interest? Eight. Answer. Eight. But I already invested. Eight. That affect me adversely or positively. Eight. Markets will fall. Second example. I didn't invest in the shares. I am about to invest in the shares. Now I have to borrow and invest. My borrowing cost will increase or decrease. Increase. That will impact the phone market adversely. Hopefully you are understanding the point or not everyone. So therefore interest rates will impact the market or not? Yes, it will necessarily impact the markets. 
But market don't generate any GDP, but GDP will impact the market. Market is an indicator. Thermometer will give you fever or it will show the fever. Same, this is a thermometer for country. Thermometer, if you put, then you will get the fever. No, it will, it will show how much fever you got, how much Fahrenheit or how much centigrade of fever is there, it will tell. So the body temperature only it will know. Country's temperature will be noted by stock markets, whether heat or cold. I understand the point or not everyone. It's an indicator. It will not change. Sir, if I put thermometer, fever will reduce. Sir, I answer yeah, everyone. Oh. Markets move down. Then GDP will increase. Huh? GDP impact market. Market don't impact GDP. This is a GDP affecting element or affected element. Affected. Influencer or influenced. Influencer. Or influenced. Influenced. Same old technique you are using. In both influences there are some people. <laughs> influence. <laughs> influence. After that influenced and influenced. Influenced. Market is an influenced but an influencer. Influenced. Influenced. It will not influence. Listen to everyone. Yes. Ah, it will influence one person. Who are they? The stocks are traded inside that exchange. That's called as a beta in your financial management. How stocks will get impacted with the market is called as a beta. Okay, how much sensitivity is there for the stock with the market is called as a beta. So okay, everyone, let us start with the third point. It's a bridge between. We need to read bridge between in the stock. I will give you an example for this. I invested in the shares of TCS. Okay, I invested in the shares of TCS. I want to sell the shares. How to sell? Where to sell? To whom to sell? I will give you an example. Listen carefully. Do you know house brokers? Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes, sir. Do you know house brokers? Yes, sir. Who is a house broker? Who connect the buyer with the seller? He is called as what? House broker. Like that. Buyer of a share should be linked with a seller of a share or not? Yes. Uh, who is a mediator in between? Stock exchange. That's a bridge. Listening? Yes, sir. Next. After that, what is the next one? Source of all public offers. Have you heard about IPOs and FPOs? Yes. Today we are going to learn full about IPO and FPO, taking Zomato as an example. Okay. Mama Earth also I can take as an example, but Mama Earth after flopper. <laughs> So therefore, I could not take. So what happened is uh, Mama Earth public issue was uh, uh, kept in hold because it could not uh, uh, comply with certain listing conditions that were given. So it was put in hold. Therefore, I could not take that because that's a recent IPO, but that uh, doesn't take up. It is not materialized. Therefore, I can't take that. Popular IPOs I will show you, like Zomato, etc. Listening? Yes. LIC IPO, everyone know that? Yes. LIC went for IPO recently. Recently means uh, two years back. LIC went for IPO. Zomato went for IPO. I will show you the, uh, what to say, the process of how the IPOs happen and the book building process concepts, etc. in the next coming slides. So the first point is stock market role. Four things it will do. First one, it is a trading place for the financial assets. So please keep the reading. The role of stock markets. Summarize and write down. Number one. Number one. Trading place for financial assets. Trading place for financial assets. Trading place for financial assets. Bridge between. Bridge between. Bridge between second point, issuer and the investor. Issuer means a company here. Issuer and the investor. Number three. Number three. Indicator of changes in GDP. Indicator of changes in GDP. And fourth one. Source of public offers. Source of public offer. Next. 
For now, let's go into more practical things. Tell me. I will tell you three places of investment. Tell me which is more lucrative in India. Gold, real estate, stock markets. I don't know the percentages now. If anyone have already seen the percentages, don't tell the answers. Tell me gold. You have seen answers, right? Gold, real, I mean real estate, stock markets. Which is the best place of investment in India? It's always gold. But I am very, very sorry in this session, I should not tell that. <laughs> but gold is a ma major investment in India and a high investment. Most of the times, it's bullion market, no doubt. I will show you the statistics. See there. But next to stock market, not real estate. So see here, is stock market better than real estate and gold? Answer is like this. 2018 government tax shows like this. Gold price is getting 10 grams. Not 1 kg. I think even now I will stop the lecture and I will first go in and buy. So, this is 10 grams gold. 31,438 in 2018. Now it is running at when? June 8th price I have taken. Which month we are in? 8th to June. When I prepared this uh, PPT, on that day, 62,035. Now imagine how much increase is there. Yes, 100% increase is there. Now many of them are very happy. <laughs> Just yesterday I invested. So, gold investment will always get hyped in India because of people's sentiments and customs. Because gold has become apparently a metal. You should not call it as a metal. But it became one of the thing which becomes a prestige or every house, everywhere gold will be there. Houses where there is no concept of shares, gold will be there. So gold is hiking like this, 31,438, 5 years back, 62,035 this year. See the real estate increase, how much is the hike in real estate in 5 years? 11.2 on an average. So why you didn't write values there? So I am from Hyderabad, in that one value is there in the land. For example, in the heart of the city where I live, there one square yard is around 4 lakhs. Okay, 4 lakhs almost. Outskirts of the city it is only 20,000-25,000. Which rate I have to tell them? Did you understand or not? Dungam Mahakamli one rate will be there. Okay, if you go to the outskirts, calm down and you cross even the airport and another 20 kilometers out. Then you will not find the same rate what you find in Nungamakam. I think you understood the point. Yes, so I can't take any one single rate. 11.2% is the overall growth in the real estate market in the last five years. The most impacting factor is COVID-19. If that is not there, maybe it might have come up to 16, 17. And see the next one. Please see the third one. How much is the Nifty? See the, power, see the number here, yeah? Nifty. 11,000 people. 346, when? 2018, we are in 2023. Tell me, how much is the Nifty now? 18,634. This is taken on June 9th. Evening when the market closes, I have given that amount. So, 18,634. Please tell me, how much is the percentage hike? About 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, don't use mobile calculators, one person will use, to please tell, what is the height? 18,634 minus 11,356 divided by 11,356 into 100. 64.09. 60? 4.09. Ah, that's a percent. 65 percent, let us take as an average. How much percent height? 65. Are I answer there everyone? 65. Therefore, I purchase the share of a particular, or I purchase the nifty. You can buy Nifty also. How? I will show you. So Nifty, if I buy 5 years back, keep it with me. And if I sell today, how much percentage of return I will get? 65%. You imagine the percentage of growth. This is how the stock markets are working today. There is a wrong notion, stock markets are risky. What is not risky? For the time said, what is not risky? Everything involves a risk, but a wrong notion is there in the mindset that stock markets uh, don't invest. You will get loss. Here you will not get loss. 
I may give it or not. If you purchase a pen, you can't sell that tomorrow. I purchased a car worth 25 lakhs, for example. Tomorrow can you sell the same car at 25 lakhs? No. Then it is not risky. <laughs> that is not risky. If I buy a car today, tomorrow it becomes a second hand car. Is it really risky? So therefore there is no word, captain meaning for the word risk. Risk is about how you react and invest in the markets. Okay, so therefore, this is a great prospect in the stock market. So now tell me, what is the first uh, uh, most important asset in India? Gold. Uh, answer? Gold. Second? Stocks. Thereafter, the last one will be real estate. Real estate will have growth, but you have to wait for years together. It's not just one year or two years like share market. If you have to wait for 15, 20 years, yes, you will definitely eat the fruits. But 15, 20 years is a very long period. That's why today if you observe, everywhere globally I am talking at least take India, apartment culture has started very much just because of this reason because people are not interested to buy the lands in the city, they are buying agricultural lands and farmlands etc. now. Because I have to wait for years together. This generation don't have that much uh, patience to wait for so many number of years to get the return back. Fast return, invest, sell. That's why intraday is very popular in India. Do you know what is an intraday? You buy in the morning. No, you need not sell in the evening. Stop loss if you put now. Another 10 minutes when your share may get sold. Buy now. Buy at 91.5. Buy at 92. 1 lakh shares, sir. Bumper profit. 5 pounds, uh, half a rupee for each share. 1 lakh shares, sir. 50,000 gain in 10 minutes. You get my point or not? Yes. That's called as volume trades. So, stock markets is the fastest investment. People also always like crash batch. You might tell a full batch in 80 days, sir. Now say. So, if I tell crash batch, immediately people are lured to that because they want everything to happen instantly. Stock market is a place for that. In India, as for the stats, in 100 trades happening every minute, 78 trades are happening on intraday. Only 22 trades are happening on CNC. CNC means I think you know cash and carry. Carry. Uh, Intraday you don't carry any share. It's like a gambling bit. Okay. Sir, anything that uh, we will see when we see the markets directly. So everyone understood this point clearly. Yeah. Yes. Now we are coming into the most interesting one. History of stock markets in India. How stock markets are started? Firstly, I will mention this concept. So please see the screen. 1854. Trade happened under a banyan tree. Not banana tree. <laughs> see there, banyan tree. Trade happened under a banyan tree with the six stock brokers in front of a Bombay town hall. 1860. That six stock brokers increased to 60. 1965. Basic rules and regulations are framed informally for the markets. I'm talking not 1965. Which year I'm quoting there? 1865. 1854, the first time there is a concept called as a stockbroker's concept came in India. I think everyone knows that 1854 means we are under the British rule. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. At the time of British rule, shares are there. Do you know what is existed at that time? Debt securities. Repeat, what is that? Debt securities. For that first time, securities market is needed. Debt securities are there. Do you know what is the debt security? I will explain. Please listen. In India, Zamindars used to be there at the time. King's rule used to be there at the time. Every province had a king. British government used to take loan from the king. And they used to issue document called as a debt security to them at that time. Listening? Yes, sir. They want to sell the debt security to some other. For example, I am a king of a particular small area in India. Okay. I gave gold coins and other precious metals and some amount of cash to the British government. As a token of money, they used to give me debt security. They say that this is a loan taken by the British government from this king. When this kingdom or when his place need money, this person used to sell this debt security to some other. Get the money from the adjacent kingdom. But to sell that there should be a procedure or not. Yes. 1854, the first time, six stock brokers operated from the British government. They came forward and they settled the trade under a banyan tree opposite to the Bombay town hall 
in the Dalal Street in Bombay, which later became uh, the marketplace for India. So Dalal Street started. 1865, automatically when business increased, what will also increase? Fraud will increase. Therefore, they said that we require some basic rules and regulation structure. 1865, that happened. 1875, very big breakthrough happened in India. 1875, for the first time, NSBS started with its promoter being Prem Chand Roy Chand. You can search about him in Google. Great person, Prem Chand Roy Chand. At the time, he can speak, he can write, he can communicate in English. Not today. 1870s, he can speak in English, write in English, understand and communicate in English. Who ruled India at that time? Answer here. Yeah. What is their medium of communication? English. Therefore, there should be one person who understands English. So that person happens to be Mr. Prem Chand Roy Chand, the greatest person who became the promoter for the first stock exchange in India. What is the name of first stock exchange? Yes. Everyone. Yes. What is the full form? Yes. Not national. Obvious answer. N means national. <laughs> D means department. M means ministry. So listen. NSBA, Native Stock Brokers Association. What it is? Native. Native. Native means what? Indians. Natives in India. It's not an association for British. Completely Indians. They started a stock broking agency called as an NSBA. Native Stock Brokers Association. Native Stock Brokers Association was started way back in 1875. Next. 1920. Uh, 19, sorry, 1874, Dalal Street set as a proper place to pray because uh, in that Banya, that Banya tree and everything is there in Dalal Street. Therefore, they thought that let this place be sacred only for the stock markets. Later, Dalal Street has become a trade place in India. Eventually, BSE also started there. See here. 1921, Clearing House of BSE has formed. What is a Clearing House House? I will explain. Just give me some time. Next one, 1925, BSC form. 1945, COCA form. What is COCA? Control of capital issues in India. I will repeat this particular point because it is very important. Have you heard about a word called as a SEBI? Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes, sir. What is the full form? Ah, before SEBI, this is SEBI for India. What is the full form? Control of capital issues. At the time, before so we, COC used to exist in India. That particular COC used to control all capital issues in India. SEBI so today, once upon a time, is COCA. Clear everyone? Yes. Uh, next. 1956, sir. One act came. <laughs> Which created a for students. <laughs> what is that? The Companies Act. It started in the year 1902. Before all the Companies Act is there, but a solid Companies Act with the 702 sections inside it. So eventually I have to start getting expertise in that act in life. But still, it's one of the fantastic acts that I read in my life. So Companies Act 1956 came. Eventually it became Companies Act 2013 now. So 1956 Companies Act came along with that to regulate the markets, brokers, stock brokers, Another act came called as a SCRA, Securities Contracts Regulation Act. Name very, very clear. Securities contracts. Whenever contract of buying selling happen, this act will get applied. Listen Yes. Oh. This is all about 1956. So, in simple, this is a whole history of stock markets till 19, sorry, uh, 1945. But see here, 1854. 1860, 1865, 74, 1875, 1921, 25, 45, and 56. Now, another breakthrough change started. Ah, first, uh, every day in news channel, you will see one photo. Stock exchange of a big building. Everyone, what's the building? What is the building? BFC building. The name of the building is PJ Towers. What is the name of the building? PJ Towers. I repeat here everyone. PJ Towers. PJ Towers. 
P.J. Daniels has got its name from one of the most popular stock breaker at the time. Jamshad G. 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 Burr. What his name is? Yes. His full name is Ferris Jamshad G. 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 Burr. As a token of gratitude towards one of the most popular stock breaker at the time. They named the name of the particular building as a PJ Towers. PJ represents Feroz Jamshed Ji Jiji Boy. Okay, so this is a name uh, from today. If you see in news channel, uh, one big building, don't call it BSC building, don't call it uh, Dalal building. It is not Dalal building, it's a Dalal street. It's not BSC building. The name of the building is called as what? PJ Towers. Well, the building you see every day in news channel, it was named after one of the greatest stockbroker, Feroz Jamshad Ji Jiji Boy, as a token of gratitude towards him, they named it as a PJ Towers. 1800, sorry, 1986, 30 companies formed BSC Index. How many? 30 companies formed BSC Index. Uh, one breakthrough happened in 18, sorry, 1986 as well. One thing you need to understand. Sir, everyone who already have the knowledge of financial management, you might have heard about a model called as a CAPM. What is CAPM? Capital Asset Pricing Model. Do you know who invented that? His name is called as a Henry Sharp. He got a prestigious Nobel for CAPM. That person is a contributor of index concept to this world. If a planet today is having concept of Sensex, Index, Nifty, S&P index in USA, NYSC in Nasdaq, or you call Nifty in Japan, or any other stock exchange, Hong Kong Shanghai stock exchange, you take any stock exchange, today everyone is running on index or not. Yes. That concept of index came because of him. He is the person who invented the concept of indices to this world. That's why in CA final there will be a concept called as a Sharpe's single index model. He is the person who found out that. Who? <laughs> Henry Sharp, really sharp, <laughs> very, very popular, not known to anyone. Okay, so he got a prestigious Nobel for his contributions to the field of, field of economics. Economic, financial management is an economics and a branch of, uh, branch of economics. Finance is a branch of economics, understanding the demand and supply forces. One of the branch. Economics will have three branches, pure economics, macro, micro. Second one, statistical. Third one, financial. We are into the third category. Okay. So now try to understand clearly that person, great person, he got that concept of sharp single index in the year 1983, 86, India has implemented index concept. So who is a contributor of index? Andrew Shah. That person is responsible for the concept of index to this world. For that reason, he was given with a prestigious novel. Okay, see here. 1988, one person became Prime Minister of India. Actually, he is a finance at that time. Uh, Prime Minister is a different person. One person became a finance minister. Later, he became a Prime Minister of India, Premier Narasimha Rao, who completely changed India. So, India before PV, India after PV. So, India before PV Narasimha Rao, India after PV Narasimha Rao. Then me, young members and uh, uh, elders will better know about P.V. Nasimara. Ma'am, I think you know about him very, very well. So such a greatest statesman. He changed the entire economy in India. So totally, if the concept of uh, SEBI is there, that's because of P.V. Nasimara. If the concept of NSC came to India, that's because of P.V. Nasimara. If the concept of index, uh, stock markets, uh, uh, international transactions, liberalization of foreign trade, Everything happens after one greatest Prime Minister India has gone, P.V. Narasimha Rao. He changed the way in which India operated, pre-P.V., post-P.V. Like that he changed the, uh, India's uh, phase of economy. At the time, 1988, when uh, he working as a finance and other defense, he implemented the concept of SEBI. And most importantly, SEBI as an institution came in 88. SEBI Act came after P.V. became P.M. 1992 SEBI Act came. 1988 was SEBI as an institution with him. 
Is that everyone? Yes, sir. It became the controller of all the securities markets in India. Okay. Next. 1988, so 1992 that, that uh, we have to change. And next one, 1995. Can you please read what is there on the screen? What is BOLD? BFC Online Trading Portal. It's called as a BOLD. What is the full form? BFC Online Trading. Which is it? BVS BM at that time. So he is the person who started online trading on stocks, but only limited number of stocks. Because internet is not popular at that time. It's not there to be very frank. Only limited transactions used to happen on an online trading portal, but he started it. Today you can see how it has uh, taken over the entire markets. Okay, next. 2006, uh, what happened? Are you reading everyone? Corporatization and demutualization started in India. What is that? I will explain. Do you know once upon a time Madras has a Madras stock exchange? Yes, Kochi has Kochi stock exchange. Yes, Hyderabad has Hyderabad stock exchange. But today nothing is there because of this. To a 2006 year, our Honorable Prime Minister at that time, Manmohan Singh sir, what he has done is they found that every state should not have a stock exchange. Let us restrict the number. Okay? Tell me how many stock exchanges are there today in India? Seven are there, operated and active. NSCBSL popular among them. You don't believe? I will show you on the slide. Names are there, details are there, internet link also there. I will show you in CV website directly, not cultural location. You don't believe me? At least we will see. So on CV website, there are seven stock exchanges are there. Okay, but volume of trade, variety of products available. These two are very much uh, ready possible. I will understand the point or not. See here, what is the difference between a VR mall, a Phoenix mall, and a small uh, general store, sir? Did you get my point or not? When I compare VR mall, a Phoenix mall, or Express Avenue with a small general stores or a supermarket chain, are you understanding? What difference you find? Volume, varieties, quality, uh, like that. VR mall is popular. General stores and fancy stores are popular. Why? The reason is everything is available. NSC, BSC comes under VR mall, Phoenix mall getting. Are you understanding or not? See here. 2009, SEBI ICDR regulations came. When I qualified CA, these regulations are there, now changed. 2018, they changed the regulations. So, 2009, the SEBI ICDR guidelines, issue of capital disclosure requirements. For your understanding, sake, I have to tell you one point. Just one year back, not even one year, six or months back, Satyam scam broke out in Hyderabad. Which is scam? <laughs> Satyam scam broke out in uh, uh, Hyderabad. A company based in Hyderabad has done the biggest fraud in the history of corporates. So, that was done by a company called uh, as a Satyam uh, Computers. So that became one of the biggest scandal in the financial market at the time. After uh, 1992 scam, this is the biggest scam happened in corporates. After that, government found that there is a need to bring new laws and regulations for issue of capital. Therefore, ICDR guidelines started in the year 2009. Do you know another one point here? A fact check. Companies at new companies at what is the year? Are you please look at it here? 2000? Seed made in the year 2009 after Satyam scam. Satyam scam broker, they found that the Companies Act 56 is an outdated act. So they have to change all the provisions of Companies Act. There were new Companies Act called as a Companies Act 2013. The first letter in the Companies Act was put by JJ Irani Committee in the year 2009, December 13th. December? 13, 2009, the first letter of Companies Act. Whatever they like, that home or something they put on that particular day. December 13th, uh, uh, 2009. After Satyam scam only, it also happened. So anyway, this is the point. And 2015, SEBI LODR regulations came. Listing obligations, disclosures requirement. I will summarize everything in one single line. Everyone have heard about the audit committee? Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes, sir. Audit committees, except for committees. So many committees are there, na? Also started because of LODR. More corporate governance, better corporate governance of a listed company, LODR guidelines came. 2021, this is the biggest achievement in India. Tell me what is the trade cycle in India today? P 
PR T plus 1 and T plus 2 are. Do you know the trade cycle period? You buy a share. Today only you will get the order. You, today only you will get the Sorry, I will give you one example. In that way I can explain. Uh, reference to this ambience you can understand. I ordered a particular product on Amazon. I ordered immediately product will fall in hand. <laughs> Answer, yeah. no. If I buy product immediately, I will receive it. It will take some number of days. Huh? Let us say it is not in uh, our place. It is there in another state. Say, for example, it has to come from Delhi. Tell me it will take at least two to three days time or not. Yes, sir. Delivery time in Amazon is a static, uh, flexible. Uh. flexible. Uh, all products will be available in, uh, within two days and one day. Uh. Flexible or uh, static? Uh. Flexible. Answer. Flexible. The shares have a static period today. What is that? One day, na? same day, one day, two day. Which is the correct answer? One day. It changed from 25th of February 2022. Hats off to the government of India for making that achievement because no other country in the world has done that till today, including USA. At least clap for that. Thanks, government of India. What it can do today is they reduce the trade cycle period to one single day. 25th February 2020, I am giving you the dates as well. So, no fakeness here. 25th February 2020, I will show you the circular also. Just wait for your time. 25th February 2022, they passed a circular saying that in a phased manner, they are going to implement a T plus 1 day trade uh, settlement. In US also, it doesn't happen. USA is taking T plus 2 and T plus 3. But we are completing our trade cycle within T plus 1. Today you trade, tomorrow shares will come into your DMAT account. How much process is involved backside, we are going to learn. This is the history of the stock markets. Where we started? 1854. Where we ended? 2021. Okay. So this is all about this. Next month. Now, more we have to see the DMAT accounts operated now. Before that, please see here, who are the participants in the stock market? Please read from my side. Please read. First one. First one. The first one will be so participants in the stock market, not audible. So participants in stock market, thank you. Participants in stock market, you can see there. Who is the first one? Everyone. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. Next one. Who are all these? Participants. Participants in the stock market. In the stock market, all these people will participate. Let us understand who are they in a simplified format, in a practical way. Point number one. Who is the first person here? Buyer. A buyer. buyer is a buyer seller, we can understand in one single stretch. Buyer is a person who gives a buy order. Seller is a person who gives a counter seller. sell order. Both these people will be matched by the exchange. Clear everyone? Yes, sir. How that matching is done is called as a price time priority. Very much a complicated issue we will discuss after this particular slide. I repeat once again. Who are the participants in the market? Number one. Buyer. Number two. Seller. Number three. Star Are you loudly everyone? Star number four. Star number five. Depository. Number six. Star and number seven will be? Yeah. Let us understand about one after another all the persons. See here. What is the first one? Buyer. Please read. Buyer. Buyer. Is the person who gave a buy order at a given time, at a given price, using his using his uh, uh, next uh, seller on the other hand is a person who gave a sell order at a given time, at a given price, using his trading account. So simple words like you can tell like this. Buyer is a person who gave a buy order. Seller is a person who gave a sell order at a given time, at a given price. Understood the point, everyone? Yes. Next. RRI, uh, R, uh, I, I, and institutional investor I will discuss uh, after some time. First, let us see. See here. Stock brokers. One very, very important practical note here. Stock broker you choose must be a good stock broker having a track record. Whatever you heard, tell me the names of some stock brokers in India. Zero the I say one name. Up stocks. Huh? I angel broking. Uh, grow, very good, grow. 
हाँ एस बी आई कैप सिक्योरिटीज फाइव पैसे सो लाइक दिस लाइक दिस यू कैन गिव एटलीस्ट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी नेम बिकॉज एवरी बैंक ऑपरेट्स डिमांड सर ओके लीव ऑफ एटलीस्ट सम नेम्स जीरो अपस्टॉक्स शेर खान लाइक दट सर्टे नेम्स एवरी वन हियर नो आर नॉट लिजन केयरफुली स्टॉक ब्रोकर्स आर ऑफ टू टाइम्स नंबर वन ट्रेडिशनल एंड फुल टाइम स्टॉक ब्रोकर्स एंड सेकेंड वन डिस्काउंट ब्रोकर्स आई विल गिव एन एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर ऑल दिस टू प्लीज लिजन केयरफुली पॉइंट नंबर वन ए स्टॉक ब्रोकर हू गिव यू ए ऑनलाइन इंटरफेस वेर यू कैन बाय वेर यू कैन सेल आई रिपीट वन मोर टाइम लिजन केयरफुली ए स्टॉक ब्रोकर who give you a demat account who give you a trading account allow you to buy the share allow you to sell the share that person is called as a discount brokers everyone repeat called as discount broker i will ask you a question answer i opened account with zeroda upstocks share khan motilal aswad etc etc tell me all these people are whom discount broker everyone discount broker that's all these are all discount brokers they calculate and take the brokerage in a fixed rate 10 rupee per transaction 20 rupee per transaction like that they will take not as a percentage listening yes sir listening yes sir number 2 what is the first one yes, i want to tell about them i will give you a name have you heard about a stock broker called as a motilal aswal yes sir very 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 popular in india as a traditional and a full time stock broker They do both discount and full time. What do you mean by full time? Full time stock broker means they will not just open trading account with you. They will give investment advices. They will tell a right time to buy. They will tell a right time to sell. They will tell a right time to enter into option trading. They will tell a right time to enter into the futures trading. Tell me, discount brokers will give advisory services or they will give only a trading account? Okay. Loudly, everyone. Okay. But who will give advices? Yes. And therefore, whenever you are opening a DMAT account, know which kind of DMAT account you are opening. You are opening a full time, or you are opening a discount. You have to know, and then you go for a DMAT. Sir, personally, what you are doing? I am doing both. I am doing both because I opened with Motilal Aswal only. Because that that's why I am uh, quoting the name of Motilal Aswal, and I am very much comfortable with that. You know what will happen? I will give you an example. Pratish, he is a representative of Motilal. Listen carefully, everyone. We are on to the practical inside. Pratish is running Motilal Aswal. Say for example, Kaushal Mukesh is an investor. In my bank account, I have five lakh rupee. Example say, using that five lakh rupee, I have to buy the shares. Clear, everyone. Now what will happen? I will tell you. I will give blank checks to him. Authorization will be given in advance. Listen in. Yes. I will give blank checks to him. Or I will give my nifty details to him. OTP whenever comes, I will give him. He will watch the market every single minute. Suddenly there is a candlestick which is breaking the resistance. It is going up. Maybe that is a time for me to sell the share. At that time, I am taking seminar. <laughs> Sir, today is a Sunday. Leave off. Let's say this happened in Wednesday. On Wednesday. A peak market time of two o'clock, one o'clock, twelve thirty, etc. At that time, I am talking about making profits in stock markets, but I am not participating there. <laughs> Are you understanding or not? Yes, At that time, markets will shoot it up like anything. It's a high time for me to sell. Then I am telling to the students how to sell. <laughs> Now tell me, eventually at the day end, I will make gain or loss? Loss. Answer everyone. Loss. stock brokers if you take a full time and a traditional stock broker they will charge 10% commission on trade but they will sell it at a right time even though you are not active on markets understanding the point or not everyone yes, so tell me if you have to give advice to your your parents they want to open a demat account don't give bad advices stop giving advices rather than giving bad advices who want uh, uh, this uh, discount broking Students like you need it. I have only thousand. I want to invest. Go for discount broking. Hey, answer here. Yeah. Yes, 
I have only 10,000 with me, but I want to put in stock market in a right place, knowing about the candlestick movement in the market. Which kind of persons can go for discount broking? But sadly in India, most of the accounts are discount broking only, because people don't know that there is a second kind like this. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. So this is an awareness of the point. So tell me, what are the two types of brokers available? Number one. <laughs> Next second one. So who will be the safest bet when you are not active and you invested more amount in that? <laughs> Answer. <laughs> yes. And moreover, try to understand, if you are going on a mode on intraday rather than cash and carry, then a discount working is only better for you. Do you know what is an intraday? Yes, By today? Sell also today at some point in the market. Clear? Yes, sir. Next issue. So I have given differences between regular broker and a discount broker. I will give you a minute time. Please read them properly because nothing is there to explain there. Just you need to read and understand. Can you see? Can, are you reading everyone? Yes, sir. Huh. I have given the names also. I am not promoting any company. Therefore, I have given all the names possible. Whatever the popular things are there in India, with regard to the full-time brokers, I have given the names. If your parents want to open, oh, ask them to open with ICICI Direct. They are giving good advices. Motula Laswal, they are also giving good advices. Okay? Discount breaking, what is popular? Please see there and read. Ah, that's why you know those names. In India, what is popular? Discount brokers are popular and full-time brokers are popular. Therefore, you know all those because most of the people with whom you meet will generally be a discount brokers only. Clear? So, therefore, you know that. Zero Rap, Stock Sir, Trade Partner, so Trade Zini, all etc. I have given some names, you add to that, whatever you call it. So, okay, everyone understood the concept of a broker or not? Answer everyone. Yes, sir. Who is the stock broker? Who is the stock broker? Who will facilitate your trade? Who will facilitate your trade? It's called as a stock broker. Okay? Next. Work of a stock broker and skipping. Uh, see the names. Broking firms. Some example. Please read what is the first one? Zenda. Motila Laswal. Angel India Stock, Up Stocks, ICSA Securities and so on and so forth, and another 20, 30 you can add to that. These are examples. And there is no ranking in this, no. 1, 2, 7, if I write, this is not ranking, first to 0, after that to grow, I am not telling that. First may be another thing. Clear. Only example. Since I opened, I put it in first place. Next. Yes, now comes the main issue. Hopefully you have... Uh, Heard about these two names at least in one life. What is the first one? NSC. Second one? BSC. Sir, why NSC first and why BSC next? The question will happen. Sir, are you having any link with NSC without having any link with BSC? I love NSC for good reasons. Do you know why? NSC's trade volumes are very big than BSC. NSC's facilitation of online services is bigger than that of BSC. NSC's quality is better than that of BSC because of so many other, that's an old exchange. But this is a newest one, 1992 model. Okay, 1992 means it is very much early when you compare with 1850s. Are you understanding or not? So this is a very much new and most fast growing stock exchanges, one of the fastest growing stock exchanges in the world. NSC and BSC. I trade generally on NSC, not on BSC, to be very frank. Okay. Popular stock exchanges. And uh, now comes the main point. Please read this. I will open the hotspot also. I will use it and I will open you and I will show you the proof as well. First, you see that. Please, everyone, concentrate on this. Read the names. What is the first stock exchange you have written there? Yes. Yes. Oldest one. Second one? Calcutta stock exchange. Third one? Next one? Multi-commodity exchange of India. Next one. 
Next one. Come on, video exchange. Last one. Next one, stock exchange of India. Hopefully, how many of you have heard? One nine seven. One nine seven. Ah, uh, very good. How many of you heard about the fourth one? Fourth one. Fourth one. Very few. Very few. Fourth one is very, 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 very popular today. That's called as a MCX. Okay, thank you. MCX means Multi Commodity Exchange. Clear, everyone? Yes, uh, there you can sell paddy, start with copper, iron, silver, gold, materials like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, products which you use in uh, rice, oils, everything is bought and sold there in an exchange called as a multi-commodity exchange. In this particular session, I will not discuss about that. It's a very, very long issue of understanding how the commodities are getting traded on exchange. I told you as a disclaimer in the beginning of the class itself. I'm not going to touch commodities for the today's session. Clear everyone? Okay? So see there, these are all the stock exchanges that are already there in India. See here, with the depository discussion, this uh, theoretical part of understanding stock exchanges will be completed. After that, we will go into the trading session, how to buy, sell. I have the videos also, I will show you. Okay. Before going into that, see here. What is a depository? What is your opinion on a depository? What a depository will do? What a bank will do with your money? So please everyone participate. What bank will do with your money? It will hold and safe keep whenever you tell they will transfer to that person. Yes or no? Same instead of cash, put the shares. That's what a depository will do. Depository will hold the cash or a share. Answer everyone. Yes. See here how a trade cycle actually appear in this particular point. I will show you a cycle. Trade cycle. Uh, I will write here and I will show you there. See here once. There is a buyer. There is a seller. Please listen carefully. There is a buyer. There is a seller. Buyer and seller will give an order. Buyer gives a buy order to his stock broker. Seller will give a sell order to his stock broker. First person will give a buy order. Second person will give a sell order. This will happen on the T day. You gave buy, you gave sell. You gave buy, another one gave sell. Immediately this will go into an interface, electronic interface, where through the internet lines it will reach stock exchange. They will match another person for you at that time. Order matching will happen. What will happen? Order matching will happen. I repeat once again. What will happen? Order matching will happen instantaneously if you match with the uh, prices. For example, price of a share is getting traded at 1000 rupees. Can I give an order at 500? Are answer there, everyone. Maximum you can go down and up is 20% only. That's called as a circuit breakers. What it is? Circuit breakers. If you are coming down or coming up, with the price of more than 20% of the current market price or 20% lesser, immediately the circuit will be broken, so we will halt the trade. Those are called as a market suspension. That means they will tell something wrong is going on in the market, stop the trade. Those are called as what? Circuit breakers. Everyone remember this, one of the most important key questions here, audit. 
So what do you mean by circuit breakers they will ask? Circuit breakers means stock market like electronic mechanism. 20% above there is a hike that started or 20% fall happened all of a sudden in the market. Behavior is general or it is an abnormal behavior in the market. Abnormal behavior immediately the circuit will be broken. They will tell that halt to the trade for some time. Those called as a circuit breakers. Listening everyone. Okay. So therefore, please, 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 just two minutes time. See here. Who is the first party? Everyone. Everyone. Second party. Fire gives which order? Seller gives which order? Order placing will be done immediately or after two days? Immediately it will happen. This is what happening on a T day. Next. You answer with common sense only, no knowledge and market required. Buyer already have shares or yet to buy the shares. Buyer already have the shares or yet to buy the shares. Sir, I don't have shares of pieces. I want to buy now. I gave buy order. Amazingly, I want to buy a laptop. I don't have a laptop. I want to buy. I gave an order. Laptop comes to me immediately. Yeah? Answer. What I have to pay? What I have to pay? Money I have to pay as a consideration on Answer your own one. Likewise, if you have to buy the share also, what is required for you? Uh, now answer my question. You are a seller. I am a buyer. Buyer requires money in his account or shares in his account. Did you understand my point? I want to buy the shares. If I want to buy the share, I need to have shares with me or cash with me. Answer? Yes. You are a seller. To sell the shares, you should have cash with you or shares with you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Fantastic. That's why if you go to the zero or any other account, they will ask a margin amount. Sale the margin amount will be zero because sellers don't require money, they require shares. I will show you live also. No worry. I will show you live. Okay? So the main point that you have to understand is, try to understand this once again. Who gave an order of buy? Answer. Who gave an order of sell? Buyer gave which order? Seller gave which order? Both the orders will be matched on prices. Price matching is done, one part to complete it. Order placement happens instantaneously. You need not worry about that. Listening. Matching has to be done. Instantaneously the matching will be done. But buyer has to give shares or buyer has to pay cash. Cash does not mean currency. Cash means money in bank account. Buyer requires shares or buyer requires cash. Answer. Cash will be transferred from buyer's account to the stock broker's pool account. Everyone repeat. What account it is? Sir? Stock broker's pool account. This pool account will be subjected to audit every 15 days by SEBI. Chartered accountants has to conduct an audit on this. That's why in audit final there is a chapter called as an audit of stock exchanges. In stock exchange, how the stock broker's accounts has to be getting audited? They will tell them. Okay. So main one important point I want to explain here. Buyer gave money. Money will not transfer directly to the seller. There's a name. Yes, Do you know why? Tell me. When you make any kind of transaction or a trade on stock exchange, buyer will know seller, seller will know who is a buyer. Main statement made is a true or false. Sir. Answer. Then how can you transfer to the seller's account directly? Now, did you understand the point clearly? Yes, can buyer pay directly to seller? No. Answer. No. Can seller directly give shares to the buyer? No. no. Therefore, who is a mediator between both of them? Stock broker. That's why this zero the, all these people came. Raise a name, everyone. So therefore, tell me. Lastly, who gave a buy order? Who gave a sell order? Buyer's buy order, seller's sell order, both will be matched. Matching function will be done in T data, T plus one, T plus one, instantly. Instantly that will be done. Matching will be done. But buyer required? Cash. Seller requires yes. shares. Money from your account will not directly transfer to seller account. It will first get transferred to whose account? Stock brokers. Who account? Not his personal bank account. Where it will be transferred? 
stockbrokers are pulling the company to transfer. Same way, the sellers' shares also will get transferred to the stockbrokers' pool account. Pool accounts are of two types: share accounts, cash accounts. Permanent, temporary accounts are. That's why they also call this as stockbrokers' general ledger accounts. What ledger? General ledger. In accountancy, you might have heard about a general ledger. The general ledger is a technical name is called as a pool. Pool means combination. There is a name everyone. Okay? Now tell me, who is a buy? Who, who is buying? Tell you give a wrong answer, I will repeat you no more. Tell you give a right answer. You give a wrong answer, I will repeat that once again, but you have to give a right answer. Please tell me, who is buying? Who is selling? Who gave buy order? Who gave sell order? Buyer gave buy order to buy, seller directly. Seller gave seller directly to buyer. No. These two are given to a stock brokers who are working inside an exchange. Yes, sir. Listening. Yes, sir. These two people will receive the order. Matching will be done? Yes, sir. Instantly. But money will be transferred from buyer's bank account to the stock brokers bank pool account. Uh, next, shares of seller will get transferred from the demand of seller to the stock brokers pool account. Permanently are only for temporary purpose, sir. Temporary purpose. This transfer of shares to the pool account will happen on T plus one. Yes, Last one. After that, this will happen through a person. That means stockbroker can do a fraud or not? Yes. Answer, eh? Yes. To govern them, one person will stand in the middle to check whether everything, this transfer of money, transfer of shares happening properly or not, one person has to look up or not. Yes, that person is called as a clearing corporation. Who is he? Clearing corporation. I will give you one example. Do you know, whenever you give an account pay check to some other person, I give an account pay check to you, immediately check will get uh, uh, honored and money will be transferred. Huh? This is not a self-check to give cash. Listening. Yes, sir. It will take time or not. Yes, it will undergo a clearing cycle or not. Yes, like that same way, clearing cycle ensures the legal compliances properly. Whether everything was done properly or not, the clearing corporation will see. From whose account I will transfer? Buyer, buyer money will be transferred to whose account? Everyone. Seller's shares will get transferred to whose account? Now tell me, this pool account should be subjected to vigilance or not? Yes, Who will do that all? Yes, clearing corporations are there. Therefore, in India, there are two popular clearing corporations. Number one, the first popular clearing corporation is the NSC Clearing Limited for NSC. Yes, what is the name? NSCA. Loudly, here, everyone. NSCA. Hey, this is a stock market session. You should understand everything practically. Tell me, what is the name of the exchange and what is the name of the clearing corporation? NSC. NSE, name is same. Uh, after that, yes. clearing limited. It is a hundred percent subsidiary of NSE. Like the BSE also should have a clearing corporation or not? Uh, guess the name. BSC clearing limited. Like this, you should not think. It is not BSC clearing. It's called as ICCL, Indian Clearing Corporation Limited. What it is? Indian Clearing Corporation Limited, established in 1996. PV has introduced that. 1999, NSC's Clearing Corporation came with a name called as, NSC. with a name called as, NSC. like this also you should not think, original name is NSC CCL, National Stock Exchange Clearing Corporation Limited, 2017 year they changed the name to NSC Clearing Limited. Understood the point, is everyone in the class here? Now I will ask you one question, where is depository involved in this entire transaction? Buy a seller, a stock broker, a stock broker, pool, everyone is there. Where is a depository? Where is a depository? Do you know how depository will be there? Depository will be there not in the actual form. They will act in the form of their agents. Stock brokers are also called as a depository participants. They are all agents to depository. That's why they can take it to pool account. Are you understanding or not? Yes. All depository participants are under the control of depository. So, do you know how many depository participants are there? 259 DPs are there in India. Listening? I will show the list also. Okay? 
Let's get fainted. Later. Not now. After the break. Okay. First point, everyone understood the total trade cycle or not? Yes, sir. So tell me, previously it used to be T plus 2. Now it happens to be how much? T plus 1. So this is how the T plus 1 transactions are happening today. This is how the practical insight today. Depository transactions are happening. After the break, we will see the buying and selling of a particular share in a practical life scenario. You know not everyone? As a video, I will show you practically. I will show you a prototype. Tomorrow you try to buy the share in the same way. 5 rupees or 10 rupees, not more. Idea share, do you know how much it is today? 7 rupees. I bought that only. <laughs> That's all. 7 rupees share. Sorry. So thank you very much. Take a break and come very, very soon. We'll start with the remaining part of the session. Thank you. Thank you. How selling should happen? Understanding and decoding the particular transaction interface that you see. This is an account with the zero dollar. Like this, it will be given. See here. First important feature of any kind of trading account is understanding the watch list. What is a watch list? Let me give an example first. There are so many stocks traded on the market. Around the 6,000 companies are listed in India. All the 6,000 companies, no one can watch every single minute. No one, literally no one can watch. Therefore, what your appetite is, which type of stock you like to buy or you like to sell, first to choose among them. First, everyone try to understand. Industry-based companies you need to invest. Example, pharma is a sector. Sectoral, you can select one or two companies. Sector, you invest. You invest in Sun Pharma, you invest in GSK, it is related to pharmacy. Second one, let's say utility sector, utility sector means power generation, etc. Tata power is there. On the other side, or not? Well, that some companies are there, electricity, supply and generation, in that you need to invest. Like that, first you need to understand which industry you love the most. On which industry you have a faith? Which industry you like? Software, PCSA, Infosys, because so many companies are there. Listening. Yes, I will randomly pick one person up. You tell an industry. In that industry, base, I will tell a particular company. Or if you want to tell the name of a company, I will show that. And I will show the charts, how they will appear. And everything, and in depth analysis, let us make on that. Clear everyone? Yes, sir. So the one sitting there. You please give a name. Yes. Which industry you like? Uh, automobiles. Automobile. Tell one company name. Tata uh, Motors. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you very much. You made my life simple. <laughs> See here. Tata Motors and Opening. See here. What are all these? Candlestick. 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 Not candles. These are all the candlesticks. There is a psychology in this, meaning for this. All those we will discuss later, not now. Let's not invest the candlesticks into investment. So first let us see this. I wanted to buy. Very, 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 very important thing is understanding what are they here. I'm very sorry that I can't zoom this. But I will tell you what are there. Number one, to the extreme left side, NSC name is there, BSC name is there. Large branches could you at least see? No, not possible. I will do one thing, I will take a screenshot and I will show you. Are same or not same? Question. Right. It depends on 
the volume of trade that happens. No. I will give a lame example for you, you can understand as well. Take as simple as a vegetable market, how much cost the vegetables are available in the nearby Coimbatore market, and how the vegetables are available in Pondi Bazaar. Prices of both the vegetables of one kg vegetables will be the same or different. Yes. Answer. Yes. Because volume determines the value. Bigger volumes of trade is happening. Price will, will be very low. There is a name. Yes, Small volumes like you make a trade, price will be very big or high. That means what you have to understand, volume of trade determines the price of a particular stock. More buyers are there on NSC, price will uh, rise up. More sellers are there on BSC, price will come down. And there is no hard and fast rule. NSC always high, BSC always low, there is no such concept. Listening everyone, yes, it will be dependent on how many bulls are there and how many cells are there. We said fight between bulls and bears. Are you understanding? Yes. More about the fight of bull and bear we can see in candlesticks analysis. Bullish market, bearish market, how to understand, what is the resistance level, all these things we will understand. Session after lunch. Yes, Listening. Yes, so again you should not sleep. So therefore let's make that session more and more practical than this. We will understand and interpret the candlesticks. After that I will show you about the options and futures. More and more complicated issues. Clear? Yeah. From now, more theoretical discussion, completely let us uh, analyze the uh, transactions how to do. See there, see the screenshot properly. Tata Motors, what is the NSC rate? Can you please tell me what is 562.3 is called as? What is 562.3 called as? Last traded price, also called as LTPs. What it is called as? Please, everyone, what it is called as? Last traded price. When last traded price? When last traded price? Today is Sunday. Trader, no trader. Oh, yeah. Saturday, trader, no trader. Oh, yeah. What is the last day? Friday. Friday. Last traded price. 562.3. And what is the last traded price on BSC? 562.2. 10% difference is there. Well. Yes, sir. This difference will come because of what? Because of volume of trade happening on both exchanges simultaneously. More buyers? Are you answer? More buyers? More buyer? Everyone, more buyer? Like that you cannot tell. More volumes will be more buyers. I bought one share on NSC. Listening? Yes, sir. I bought. One share, or I will tell like this here. One lakh people started buying one lakh shares, one lakh share each. I, I, I bought. One share. You bought. One share. Everyone of us bought. One, one share each. We are influencing them, non influencing them. Non influencing them. How many shares I bought? One. Another person, one. No one is one. BFC, 10,000 shareholders are buying each 1,000, 1,000 shares. When you take a number of buyers there, number of buyers is more in MSC, less in BSC. But when you see as a volume of shares, load it is bigger, that's how the prices will be determined. It's always a volume market, it's not the hit count market. Always remember, these are called as the volume trades. Trade always happens not on hit count, number of persons participating is relevant. That is relevant for the market. Volume of trade happening on the stocks. How much volume of buying and selling is happening is a question here. Clear everyone? Yes. That's in the screen. Let's uh, decode the words clearly. What is 562.3? No more wrong answers. What is 562.3? Last traded price. What is 562.2? Last traded price on the stock exchange. Is a name? Tell me, can I buy either on NSC or BSC or I have to select only NSC? You can buy on any exchange. You can buy on any exchange. Now listen carefully. What is the BSC price? Everyone. 
That is the price on NSC. Here we will be a person. There will be a person. Just a minute. Called as. Four types of orders. 
When you ask, please read the names properly. Sir, you have account with Topstar, Zillow, etc., etc., etc. This is common. This is common. This is a common regulatory rule. You can't change, I can't change. Any broker, these four elements are common. And what is the first one? What is the first order? What is the second order? What is the next order? What is the next order? Let me tell you. First one. Quantity. How many shares you want to buy? One half, two half, ten half, fifteen half, five thousand half. How many number? That you have to give here. Listening, everyone. Yes, sir. Next. Price. What is the price? Uh, listen carefully. There are various types of orders. Everyone, please listen. If you don't listen, this not this is session a waste. Because from here only. Real market transactions will start. See the screen properly. There are four types of regular orders you can give. Please, everyone, repeat how many types of regular orders are there? Four types of regular orders. Type one, market order. Second one, what is the second one? Limit order. One second, one second, one second. Hmm. What is the next one? Yes, Stop loss order. Yes, I mean, sir? Stop. Stop loss order. What is the next one? Stop loss market order. First, in order to click any of these four, first one should be the meaning of all the four. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm talking with everyone. Yes, sir. I agree. How many types of regular orders are there totally? Oh. Four types. What is the first one? Market order. Second one. First one. Market. Second one. Limit. Third one. Stop loss. Fourth one. Stop loss. Market. First, let us understand what is the difference between all the four. First one is a market order. Simple order. Do you know what is a market order? Here I will show you. You have two types of products. Please read what it is. Uh, what, what is this? Intraday. Intraday, M-I-S. M-I-S means it will be squared off in the intraday itself. Squared off means, listen carefully, I will give an example. See here, we are trying to, we are trying to buy the particular share. I will show you on a website, you can see much more clearly. See the screen once. This is a buy order we are trying to give. Let's say I click down intraday. Once I click down intraday, what does it mean? Let me explain. Intraday means you are giving permission to your broker to square off your buy position with a sell at the end of the day. Listening everyone. Anyone have done the intraday transactions in the class? Anyone have already done intraday? A uh, little number, but maybe you know that. Intraday transaction, how it works, I will tell you. You take a share. Because the screen is very small, it's not visible. I could not explain with this. But I will show you practically how it looks like. See here. Quantity. I am clicking 100. How much? 100. Price. I am taking MIS. MIS means intraday square off. That means within the day itself, your buy position will be squared with a sell. Sir, I didn't give any sell order, sir. You need not give. Intraday meaning is that. Intraday means you are giving a permission to your broker automatically sell the share at the last trading price of a day. Sir, you are wrong. Say, I will give an example. What is the time now exactly? 1252. Seconds and minutes also play a crucial role in market. Hello, I am talking with everyone. Yes, sir. 1252 in the morning or in the afternoon, I gave a buy click. I gave a buy click. Buy click, click on intraday. Buy click on intraday. Buy I know. My buy 
we be closed at the end of the day with the last traded price. With the last traded price. Tell me, what is the time now? 
G. See that. Do the point zero. Can you find this? Everyone in the class. Yeah. That means you are deciding the price. You are this. You are going by the market price. Okay. Answer everyone. Okay. What is the last traded price? Okay. If I give, tell me how many rights of orders are there? Okay. Number one. Okay. Number two. Okay. What is the first one? Okay. When I am clicking on market, I am ready to buy. If it is decided price by me, or I am ready to buy it, what are the price it is there on the market? What price will be there in the market? Last traded price. What is the price? In our example, what is the last traded price? That's the point here. Everyone understood the logic clearly or not? Point number one completed. This is called as a market order. Everyone, please tell me with one yes. Understood or not? Yes. How many types of orders are there? What is the first one? Market. That way I am making myself ready to buy or sell at what price? Market. Whenever I click on market, the price will be there, will not be there. Will not be because you are not deciding any price. Who will decide? Market will decide at the premium price it will be done. Are you selling everyone? Yes, sir. Day closes at what time? Three thirty day closes. I mean, uh, it, uh, trade trade closes at three thirty. Three thirty. Whatever may be the price, at that price, your share will be sold. Your share will be sold. That means all buyers at that time become sellers. All intraday sellers become buyers at that time. Did you get my point or not? Yes. Everyone, did you get my point or not? Yes. How intraday will be closed? Let us understand that. I am a. I am a. You are a. You gave 562 sell click. I gave 562 buy click. Both of us are matched. At the end of the day, what will happen? At the end of the day, I become seller. You become buyer. Trade will be closed. You may get loss. I may get profit. I may get loss. You may get profit. Shall we take one practical example now? Yes, Tell me what is the current going market price? 562. Let's take 562. Okay. Closing price 564. What will happen? Don't tell profit to us, sir. Because two parties are involved here. I am a? Yeah. Answer, I am a? Yeah. You are a? Yeah. I am a? Yeah. Loudly, I am a? Yeah. You are a? Yeah. Tell me what will happen. I have to buy, I have to sell. Yeah. Originally, I am a buyer seller. Yeah. You are a? Yeah. Really, I will buy. Really, I will buy share and deliver to my demand account. Really, you will sell. You don't have share. I don't have. I don't have shares. You don't have share. Just to you trade on an intraday transaction, it's like a gambling and a betting. It's a name. Yes, Tell me, how much is the price we bought? You sold at what price? 562. I bought at what price? 562. Tell me now. Everyone, answer this. Day will close at the end or not? Yes, at the end of the trading day, sellers will become buyers. Buyers will become sellers. See, from the buyer point of view, at least, what is the price we bearing now? 562. Or 563, whatever you call it. 562, let us say. Price at the end of the day, 330, became 564. What will happen to me? I will be booked with a loss, or I will be booked with a profit. Everyone. Okay. Answer. Okay. Everyone. Okay. Second situation. Very, very important concept. Concept is called as a short selling. What is the concept? Short selling. Everyone repeat. What is the concept? Short selling. Listen. In India, Long term short selling is not allowed. In UK, USA, three months or four months of short selling is also allowed. But in India, short selling is allowed only on an intraday. Intraday means one day, nah? more than one day. Nah? One day. Technically, the same day. Let me explain what is a short selling. Let's always be careful. In an intraday, delivery is there or not there? In intraday, delivery of shares is there or not there? When delivery is not there, I can trade on anything in the world. I can trade on pencil, I can trade on scale because delivery is not required actually. Sir, so listen carefully and we tell like this. See here, I will ask you, you answer me. Just two, three minutes back, I said like this. All buyers become seller. All buyers become seller. All sellers will become. How will come second one is possible? When I already sold, why I will buy again? 
Any guess? I repeat. What is an intraday? What do you mean by intraday? My position will be countered with an opposite position during the day na end of the day na. Answer. Now you should tell me the answer. I am a buyer originally. What will happen to me at the end of the trading session? I will become a technically at a prevailing price. I will take a sell. I will make a profit and I will leave the market. Tell me, seller. You are a seller. You sold. Listen. Yes, sir. You saw it. Why you need buy again? It's a question now. Do you know what it is? Listen. That concept is called as a short selling. Do you know what it is called as a short selling? Exchange will treat not as a sell. They will treat it as a borrow and sell. Let me explain this in a simple point. See here. Since delivery is not possible, or delivery is not actually required on an intraday, you can do whatever you want. First, you want to sell, you click on sell. Sell at what price? Please read. What is the number, sir? What is the price we are taking as an example? 562. At the end of the trading session, how much is the price? Answer. They will treat like this. Really, it doesn't happen. Like this, they will treat. Please listen to this point, or else you cannot understand the short sell. Short sell is like borrowing others' shares and you are selling. Really you are borrowing that? No. Really you are selling that? No. no. It will be treated as if you are borrowing and selling others' shares. I will repeat, please listen carefully. Who am I? Buyer. Loudly. Buyer. Seller. What I clicked? Buyer. At what price? Buyer. Answer. Buyer. Who are you? You will click what? Uh, what? Seller Seller. Seller. You have shares or no shares? No shares. No shares. Demat account is not involved here. Yeah? In an intraday, Demat account is involved or not involved? T plus 1, T plus 2, applicable or not applicable? All those will come in CMC. Cash and carry in those will come. In an intraday, in an intraday, Demat account is involved or not involved? Yeah. Yeah. Not involved. Your trading account is only affected. Your bank account is affected at the end of the day. Yes, sir. Hopefully, everyone understood. Yes, sir. Tell me. Who am I? Buyer. Don't think that I am repeating. I am repeating because you should not do mistakes when you are trading. Tell me, who are you? Seller. Answer. Seller. What click you made? Seller. How you click, click down seller? You don't have shares. What you have done? Okay. As if. Uh, the exchange will treat as if you answer what you have done. Borrowed shares and sold. When you borrow something from a person, you have a responsibility to give it back or not. Yes, sir. sir, I borrow money from you. What do I have to do? Repay. Answer. Repay. Repay. I bought money. Uh, sorry, I borrowed money. Uh, I borrowed shares. Uh. Yes. When I borrow the shares, what responsibility do I have? Give back. To give back, what do I have to do? Ah, that's why sellers become buyers. Do you understand the concept and logic behind the same or not? Why sellers has to become buyer is a subjective question, not buyer becoming seller. Buyer becoming seller is an easy point to understand. But why sellers are counted as a buyer is a main point in entire transaction that one should understand. Hopefully, you will understand the point clearly or not. Tell me, we are talking about market order, limit order, stop loss or stop loss market order. Just to be in the market orders. This much science is involved in markets. Okay? So tell me now. Point number one. For the last time. If you make mistakes, repeat it. So tell me. Point number one. Who am I? Buyer. I click the one. Buyer. At what price? Buyer. At what price? Buyer. Who are you? Seller. You click the one. Seller. We are on CNC here. Intraday. Intraday requires sir. real shares. Huh? No. Real shares are? No. So real cash are? No. You need to deposit a small margin, that's all. They will check whether in your wallet, online wallets will be there. In that wallet, do you have a minimum margin amount what they said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will show you an example here. Maybe you can understand much, much better when you see that. See here. See here once, please. Quantity, I am giving 1000. How much are you given? 1000 as a quantity. How much? 1000. I am taking a screenshot. See. For 
do's and the shares, do you know how much amount I need to put in wallet? Just to buy it to rupees. My broker charges are 0 0.58. Tell me now. Is huge investment required for intraday? Na? Not at all required. Na? And the answer is everyone. How many shares I want to buy? Thousand shares if I really buy on CNC market. 562 into 1000. 560 to 1000. Yes, sir, everyone. But here, the amount is directed, not directed. 562 rupees you need to put. Marginally, you see. Amount also will not be directed. It's a blocked amount. That amount in your bank account, you can't use it till the day closes. Listening or not? Now, you should tell I should listen here. Who am I? Who are you? I gave what order? You get what order? I become what at the end of the day? Yeah. You become what? Buyer. Yeah. Buyer and seller is an easy trade. But why sellers are becoming buyer when you already sold? You didn't sell your share. Huh? Oh. You borrowed and sold. Really you borrowed, huh? No. Oh. Market treats like that. As if you borrowed and sold. When you borrow something from the customer, what do you have to do? Repay that. Repay that. Now you are borrowing money, yeah? Huh? Shares, huh? Shares, how can you repay that? You have to buy and repay. That means you must buy, huh? may buy. Huh? Therefore, sellers become buyers at the end of the trading session. Then they will close, profits and losses will be made. This is how intraday transactions happen on the market. Clear or not, everyone? Yes, Practically, if you understand, the nothing is a theoretical here. Everything I am showing on the market, how it happens. Clear? Now, the main question is whether to really jump and buy and sell at 5622 is a question. That you can understand when you understand the candlesticks. You are ready to buy at 562. Whether 562 is a right price or not, whether the time one line is correct time or not, who will decide? Can you switch with That's a technical analysis of the stock that we will do later. Hello, hello, hello. I'm talking with everyone. Yes, Understood the point or not? Yes, ah, next. Ah, any doubts up to you? Clear? Yes, Understood the market order clearly? Yes, sir. Everyone. Yes, sir. Everyone in the class. Yes, sir. Market order perfect. Yes, sir. Now limit order. How many of you in the class have given a limit order? If you say yes, I have a question to ask. That's why. Limit order. How many of you have given? One, two, three, four. Hmm. Uh, I will give a chance to some other person. Back. Yes. Can you explain what is it? Back. Yes. Can you explain what is the limit order? Please give the mic to me. Who does the train now? You can easily understand. Yes, please explain the limit order. We fix the price. Huh? We fix the price. Yes, because of this, what will happen? What is the scenario that you can see in a limit order? You fix a price, 100% done. So, if you fix a price, what will happen? In a limit order, what you can see in your order book, in your trading account? Waiting. Ah, very good, very good. That's the only point that I want to tell. Thank you very much. Sir, so, you might not hear what you said. Waiting list, that's called as a queue. I will explain what does it mean. Listen yes, me. Whenever you give a limit order, limit order is called as a bargaining market. Technically, in the previous example, what I said, market order means when you click on market, Whatever the prevailing market price is, you will buy at that price. At what price you will sell? I should not listen to wrong answers, please. I repeat, at 5, 6 times from you. At what price you will sell? You will sell automatically sold. Seller will automatically buy. Buyers will automatically sell. Really, shares will come to demand? No. Really, shares will go from demand? No. Nothing will happen. Profit only will be good. The hell you are not actually a concept from other people. This is the point number one. Number two. Number two. Listen carefully to the point. So the situation number two is limit order. I will give you a live quotation first and after that I will go there. See the screen once. Quantity thousand. I didn't give, I gave intraday MIS, but I didn't give market. I give click on limit. When I click on limit, 
Immediately what will happen? Let us see, I will show you the screenshot. See this? Which channel we are doing? Regular, cover, young one, iceberg. Answer. In regular, how much quantity? Internal in a long term. I gave as a market order, limit order. In market order, if you take, price is visible, it will be invisible. Visible and invisible. How much will be shown there? Zero. That means you are trading directly on the market prices. You don't have any bargaining here. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone. Yes, sir. Uh, see here you now. Once you click on intraday limit, your price will again open. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone. Yes, sir. What is the price given there? Since last benches, you can't say, I will tell you how you can do. You can click a backspace to this and you can also give 560. Who can give? Budget. Can give what rate? 560 also you can give. But the problem with this is, I will explain. Limit order whenever you give. For example, I give 560. 560 is a prevailing in the market or not prevailing. What is the prevailing price? Answer? 562. I give how much? It is prevailing or not prevailing now. Whenever you click on 560 for 1000 shares, immediately your Q will be added. Yes, sir. Like that sellers also need not give it 560 to some other sellers who gave a limit orders will also be there or not. Yes, I give limit order, right? That means I am not ready to give a buy for 560 too. I am affording this share only for 560. One rupee also extra I don't want to put on this share. Like, the name yes, sir. like that, how I think, maybe another seller may be there somewhere in India. Who will also think like me, but he gave a seller order. I gave a buyer seller. Buy, buy. I gave a buyer seller. Buy. Like me, he is also thinking, but he want to go on a sell. Sell at how much? Five. If sell at 560 is there, both of the orders will be matched. Listening to everyone in the class? Yes, now listen carefully. I will wait. You gave 560. You gave 560. I gave 560. Prevailing price is 562. Stock market will wait for one hour. Within one hour, if no other seller is giving a similar limit order at 560, your order will be cancelled. How many of you have seen the cancelled orders in your trading account? Yes, those are the classic examples. When matching is not possible with your price, that means your bargain is available or not available. Not available. I went out. Apples are neither side getting sold. I asked how much is a dozen or a kg, whatever you call. They said 500. I said 300. They said please go. Now my bargain is, uh, my bargain is accepted or not accepted. They said 500. I said 475. He said 480, no 475. Slowly he came to 475. My bargain is successful or unsuccessful at all. Successful at all. This is how the stock market also happened. This is the answer for every question you ask. Who will fix the prices in the market? You only will fix it. You only will fix it. Or like you, some other person will fix it. If you pick on market order, you are telling that I don't want to fix, I want to go with the head of heat. How much is a prevailing market? 560. I want to go with that. Listening, everyone. Who am I? Who are you? Now I want to answer from the limit angle. Tell me. I gave a limit order at 560. What will happen? My order will be executed immediately. I will not give. Everyone. What will happen? What will happen? In two, it will wait. It will wait for. It will wait for. For whom? Will wait here. For lunch break, huh? For who it will wait? Seller. seller. Which seller? Market seller or limit seller? Another limit seller. Who also give a sell click at? 560. When both of the match are in one hour, matching will be done. Listening. Yes, Say 945 in the morning. I gave limit order 560. 1025. Uh, you gave. A 
unit order at 560 cell. What will happen now? Both orders will be matched. We will continue till the end of the day. Buyer will come seller, seller will come buyer, close the interval. Understood limit order or not everyone? Yes. Limit order, la, what is happening? Bargaining will happen. Do you know what will happen in bargaining? Order will be cancelled if match is there or not cancelled. There is no match. Order will be executed or cancelled. Answer. Answer. Once cancelled, what does it mean? There is no person who is ready to sell at 560. You increase the price. That means it's a bargaining or not? Yes. That's why stock market is also called as an auction market. What market it is also called as auction. Auction market. Means what? You tell one price. If I like, I will sell. If I don't like, I will not sell. Which is the most sophisticated way of sale market? Next best one is liberty. So tell me, how many orders we have understood now? Everyone. You know, you need to do it Tell me now. How many orders are there? Two orders. Four orders are there. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Very good. Tell me now. In case of, in case of, Market order, what will happen? I want to buy share. Tomorrow you want to buy. Kazumi will not be there from tomorrow to explain you, sit with you, buy, sell, I will not be there. But you should buy. How to do? You went to a website there. Zero hour you open. You want to buy. How to buy? What you have to do? First to go to the website. Uh, click on either MSC or yes. choose which market you want. Choose it. Over. Tell me, what you have to click? Oh, okay. One na, ten na, five na, fifty na, six na, you decide that. Decide it. Next one, what you have to decide? Whether you want to do a uh, intraday or whether you want to go for long term investment, you need to decide. We are now discussing everything about what? Intraday. So stick on in intraday. Intraday, really you will buy and sell, you will not. E might is affected, not affected. Fantastic. Tell me now, what will happen? Intraday, I click. Whenever you click on intraday, there are again four options that will come. What is the first option? What is the second? What is the third? What is the fourth? Ah, now tell me, can you explain? If anyone asks you, can you explain about what do you mean by uh, market order? Tell me, I will give a buy ticket. Last trading market price. You will give a sell ticket. Last to pay a market price. Buyer will come. Yes. Seller will come. Buyer. Why seller becomes a buyer? Market to preach as if yes. seller has sold by making deal. Really bother, huh? no. As if they will do it like that. And it's why seller becomes a buyer. Listening everyone. Yes. As if you have done that, they will assume they will close your positions. This is how the short selling will happen. Understood the point or not everyone. Yes, sir. Fantastic. That's all. This is about two things. So, where bargaining will happen? <laughs> bargaining will happen in which market, everyone? <laughs> limit market, limit orders are, market orders are. <laughs> limit orders are whenever you give a click, which is lesser than the prevailing price or very much higher than the prevailing price. There is no other person who is giving the price. What will happen? Matching done or not done? Okay. I will wait for. Order will be. Yes, if a person is found, order will be. Man, buyer becomes seller. Yes, seller becomes buyer. Kail katam dukram bandh. This is how the whole transaction happens. Understood the point of that everyone. Now comes the real hero. Stop loss orders. When to use a stop loss? How many of you have used the stop loss? One person at least. If you have used a stop loss, you also. Now, uh, one person. Do you know the trigger price concept? Can you explain? Please explain. If you buy order at 562, okay. if it is going down beyond 550, 550, it will automatically execute. That is called a stop loss. I am limited to the loss. Okay, next. Stop loss market means? That is a unnatural. How many of you have done stop loss, uh, limit order and stop loss, market order? Both stop loss. I have done all. All, almost everything in the market, all the monkeys and sellers have done. With the cuts, everything I have seen. But still, I want answers from any one of the investors here in the class. 
At least you give some motivation for me that one person is there. Stop. You have done? Stop was market. Uh, stop was in it? You didn't. Anyone have done? Uh, then I will explain. But tie with an expert that means only. Stop loss others are very, very dangerous. Let me explain how it works. First, listen carefully. Can I? Can I? Listen. Stop loss order whenever you have to give. Sir, for all the discussion what I made till now, I made one video of three minutes. Practically, I have bought and I sold. I will show you that. First, you have to understand. Na? If you understand, you can understand what is going on there. Or else you will see like that. What is happening also, don't have a clue. See here. Stop loss order is one of the unique trend that is available for an investor. I will ask you one question, you first answer that. Buyers are always worried about what? Fall in prices or rise in prices are? Buyers are always worried about rise in prices or fall in prices are? Fall in prices are not rise in prices are. Because when I am ready to buy, I will buy anyway. So I am buying because I found that this price is a worst price. Is yes, yes, After buying, my worry is on what? Fall in the market is my worry. Hello. Yes, sir. Tell me, buyers are worried about. Price. Everyone, buyers are worried about. Price. Sellers are worried about. Price. Raise in prices. Buyers are worried about. Fall in prices. Sellers are worried about. Price. Raise in prices. Now I want to limit that. Risk of loss because of fall in prices for a buyer, rise in prices for a seller. How to limit my loss is called as a stop loss orders. Which order, sir? Stop loss order. Shall I explain the point to everyone in the class? Yes, Whenever you want to make a stop loss order, you have to give two orders simultaneously. One is a buy, another one is a sell. Listen carefully, I will explain. First, I clicked on buy. Oh, sorry, I will practically show you. See the screen once. Nothing is visible to the last pictures. Nothing, literally. So that means if you see a line, you can experience much better. Is there any other option? This is online only. Website. Website, it will not open on any They won't have the restrictions. Font size is different. This is app. Daily. It's very nice. in here, I want to make Font. Why? 
IM will not build because it's an intraday transaction. What do we do? Sell. Automatically, we will go into a counter sell at the end of the day or not. By the time prices may fall. If the prices fall, I will get a guaranteed buying price, will not. Now tell me. See. You explain me, I will ask you a question. We are taking a buy order, sell order. Good. I already bought. Now I am worried about raise or fall. Up. Listen carefully how to do this. I bought one share of Tata Motors. Listening. Yes, sir. Buy quotation screen, did you remember? Yes, buy quotation screen, previous screenshot, did you remember or not everyone? Yes, Tell me. In buy, same thing happened. NSC, we took down 562.3, correct? Yes, sir. Next, after that, we went into which order? Regular or cover order, sir? Regular. In regular, we went into what? Are you answer there? Quantity. How much I click there? One. After that, we went into long term entire MISR. Next. First situation we gave. Second situation we have given. Third situation we are going to give. Stop loss. Buy order is one order. Buyer will be a buyer or buyer will be closed with a sell at the end of the day. Buyer will really buy at the end of the day and share will get deposited in your DMAT account or buyer automatically will become a seller at the end of the day. Answer, answer. Buyer will automatically become a seller at the beginning or end of the day. At the end of the day, buyers will become a seller or not. At the end of the day, when I try to sell, price came to 550. Tell me, what is my buy? Answer here. Yeah. What is my automated sell rate? Loss or gain after buy? Loss. How much loss? 562 minus 550. How much loss? 12 rupee loss. 1 lakh shares are given order. 1 lakh loss you can get. Are you understanding the problem or not here? I am not ready to take that risk. What to do? Give a stop loss order. Give what order, sir? Stop loss. Candlesticks when we start analyzing now, you will understand this stop loss why people will give in a more, more, more hundred times practical. But as of now, let us understand from the order taking point of view, market interpretations we will do after the one session. Does it mean? Yes, sir. So try to understand clearly, sir. My discussion not yet complete. Please respond properly. We are giving limit order, market order, stop loss order. Stop. Answer. Stop loss. Stop loss market order you must explain after that stop loss you will understand easily. Clear? Stop loss market order. Let me explain. What is a stop loss market? See here. Whenever you take a stop loss order, you have first taken a buy. Karta. All buyers will really buy up, will become seller. In an intraday, all buyers will really buy at the end of the day or will become a seller. You will give sell click automated. In stop loss, you will give a sell order directly saying that when the share price reaches this much, you automatically sell. Say for example, what is a buying price of You can't understand so easily. I know. That's why we repeat as many number of times as possible, but don't make mistakes when you really buy. Okay. Tell me, what is the buying price today? I click them out. 562. Over. And I don't want to take infinite risk. I want to close my risk. I want to take risk of 5 rupees only. I will give you two scenarios now. Okay? You are all buyers now. I am a seller. Okay, you are all buyers. Tell me. What price you gave a buy? Enter in a CLC. Really you bought or not in a? But you give a buy click at how much? You are worried about rise or fall. Answer. At the day end, at the day end, price became 570. Are you happy or unhappy? Happy or unhappy? Very. You got a super bumper profit here. 8 rupees per share, 1 lakh shares, 8 lakhs. Over. Say for example, price came to 
ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਫਾਟੀ ਸਟੀਪ ਫਾਲ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਅ ਲਾਸ ਹਿਊਜ ਲਾਸ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਨਾਟ ਰੈਡੀ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਦਟ ਲਾਸ ਰਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਮਾਈ ਲਾਸ ਟੂ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਿੰਗ ਆਨ ਅਦਰ ਵਨ ਰਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਮਾਈ ਲਾਸ ਟੂ ਸੈਵਨ ਰੁਪੀਸ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਸੇ ਦਟ ਮੀ ਮੈਕਸਿਮਮ ਰਿਸਕ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਇਜ਼ ਓਨਲੀ ਹਾਊ ਮਚ ਸੈਵਨ ਰੁਪੀਸ ਸੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਆ ਯੂ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਦਾ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ easy when you can understand this particular idea i will explain with an example okay see there once so please ਸੋ ਸੈਲ ਸੈਲ ਗੋਟ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਪ੍ਰਵੇਲਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਬੀ 
after opening the trigger, again if it falls, okay, if it is a stop loss market order, once the market reaches that mark, automatically they will sell. If you go with the other kind of stop loss, stop loss limit order, you have to take a decision. Listening everyone? Yes, sir. I will give you both as an example. Differences also I will give. See here. Stop loss limit, stop loss market. In both the cases, first to what position you have taken? Answer. Buy. Everyone. Buy. buy. Either buy you can take or you can also take a sell. I have taken example of a buy. Clear? Huh? Yes, sir. See here. See the screen ones. Tell me. How many kinds of examples I have taken now? Two. Stop loss has two types of stop loss. Number one, stop loss, limit and stop loss. Market. Everyone answer my question clearly, I will ask you. With the numbers, I will show you now. Tell me. What is your buy price originally? 560. Here, what is my buy price? 562. Both cases, 562. I am ready to take the risk of how much rupees? Answer. Means I can accept a fall up to how much? Answer, yeah. Uh, here, I am accepting how much? 5 rupees, sir. Tell me. Like this I can give or I need to mention the trigger price. Trigger price is mandatory. Trigger price can be more than 562. Are you answer? Yeah, no. Trigger price can be more than 562. Yeah. Trigger price can be less than 557. Yeah. Then 557 also followed. It came to 550, then it came along. So the main issue that you have to understand is trigger will be, everyone answer, trigger will be lesser than what? First the trigger should be less than your price. Or quote and price, whatever you have given, limit order the quote and price. And it should not be lesser than, it should not be lesser than the stop loss price. It should be in the middle of what and what, everyone answer. Your quoted price and the stop loss price. It should be somewhere in the middle of both of these. Pleasuring or not? Yes, sir. Early trigger is a danger. Late trigger is a danger. Therefore, wisely you think and you decide the trigger price. Clear or not? Yes. Trigger price market will decide. Buyers and sellers have to decide. Buyers and sellers have to decide the trigger price. I'm understanding to some extent how the others will be given or not. I will show you in the video, see that. Practically how it occurs, let us see. See the screen marks. I will play one more time also, no problem. But when it is getting played, at least show some emergency and understanding. See here. I have practiced, day for yesterday I have done this. Day for yesterday, I will show you the date also. Day before yesterday, when the market is in Friday, I have done all these things. You see the screen. Buy or sell? First day, tell me. Buy or sell? Answer. Buy. 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 In regular order, you know the ice bond. Answer. Regular. In Friday, or long term? How much? Sir, why you only one, sir? To explain you, one is enough. Handala, Vanna, anything answer is same. Okay? With one you understand this. One. First I am showing facts. Tell me everyone, I have given a stop loss which kind of order? Market. Everyone, stop loss. Market. Stop loss market I have to give. Or I should also mention the trigger price. Are I answer here everyone? I will give you an assignment. Tell me, what is the ongoing price? 7 point. Is there any uh, is there any rule that I must go to only 7.33? No. And I answer, yeah? No. I sir, who am I? I am a buyer. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. I can bargain and I can enter into the market or not. Everyone in the class, sir. Yes, sir. When I give when I click on stop loss market, it will be taken whatever rate you want as a buying price you give. Okay? Now tell me. 
what is my prize that I have given as a trigger? Tell me, what is the trigger prize that I have given here? Answer everyone. 7.34. Here I am giving the 7.34 on a buy. On a buy. That means already I sold. I want that I want to buy at the end of the day and I have to return that pressure as if you are borrowing and then selling, you have to understand the short sell or not everyone. Yes, First I gave a sell order. Now I have to buy. At the time when I am coming to buy, I am worried about the high prices. So no. Yes, I said that I am not ready to take any kind of loss. Trigger me at 734, I said. How it look like? Let us see with a video. Once you see that, again I will re-explain if you have a doubt. Just to understand, I am moving the cursor. <laughs> Not confused. <laughs> Just a minute, I will go back. This story you understand properly. What I have done? Regular I am one. Regular. Regular. I am giving which order? Market. 733 will operate automatically. See here, what is it? By your video means? Complete. At what rate? 7 point? See the other ones. What is this? What 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 these others are? <laughs> executed others. Already they are executed. I click on it. Buy or not? Am I a sticker? Quantity one seven point three three. Status is what? Status is what? Complete. Complete. Let's see here. Continue the video. Which order I have given? Are yes. market order? Which order I have given? Market order. One second. Uh, tell me why price is in grey and trigger price is in grey? Please educate me. Why price is in grey? Why price is in grey? Uh, why? Ma market? Because of market, what will happen? Whenever you click on market, you have you have a right to decide the price. Huh? You are blindly going with the market price. Therefore, price will be zero. Market means there is no stop loss here. Trigger price will become grey. Listening? Yes. Sir. So. Price is active or inactive? When you give a market order? Inactive. Price, price is active or inactive? Inactive. inactive. Trigger price will be active or inactive? Inactive. So trigger price will not open unless and until you give a stop loss order. Those videos are also available. First point, everyone understood or not? First, I will that. Understood or not? Yes, sir. Okay. I will go from the beginning. Three minutes only the video is, but watch it carefully. Shall we start? See here. Sir, here idea is there, there we are clicking. Okay? That screen may not be visible to you all the time. I am zooming it for the last minute just to see. Shall I start everyone? Yes, sir. The video. What I am doing, please observe carefully. If required to pause, I will only do. Tell me, which order I took now? Market. Everyone? Market. When I give a market order, stop loss possible or not possible? Market. Not possible. What are you doing? Market. Buy or sell? Here, here, blue color. Buy or sell? Why? Tell me, 
I bite. I made a, I, I made a bite. What will happen if I made a bite? I will really buy up. Yeah? I will make a counter seller. Answer. Do you know how much profit I made on this one shirt bought and sold? 0.2 million rupees. I better show you the profit also. I gifted my student. 0.2 million profit I made for you. To how many shirts? To how many shirts? Four million shirts. What is the shirt price? Can you see the screen and tell where everyone is? 7 point? Yeah. 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 3 or 3 per? I saw the difference in claim, yes or no? Closing right now, what closing price? 7 point 2 easily closed. 4 shares. I got 29 by some profit. Resonate everyone in the class, sir? Yes, sir. Imagine, I bought 10 lakh shares like this. What will happen at the end of the day? I will get 2.9 lakhs profit. Now, did you get the point? That's why share market, if you want to get profit, don't buy and sell one share. This is educational purpose. So. Okay. This is educational purpose. I bought one share and sold just to show you that the concept is there like this. Shall I play with you again? Understood or not? It is which order? Which order? Market order. Okay. By the way, you are complete. Clear as everyone? Next. Next, another stunt I can see. Don't try this at all. That is an order book. Get that. Again, confused what to do. I will pause it. Please tell me what I am doing. Uh, I'll stop it. Tell me. I am taking a cell lap by hand. Sell. Answer. Sell. This is a normal other stop loss other. Normal. Hey, hey, hey. See, see there. If you want special, you. Then see there. Yeah, it's a standard other. Normal cell other. Yeah. Normal cell. Not even my. Normal cell other. Not stop loss cell. Hello, hello, are you listening? Yes, sir. Ah, tell me now. What I am doing? What is the price prevailing at the time in the market? 7.3. Answer, yeah. 7.3. Okay. What is the intraday? Oh, no, sorry, I made intraday now long term. Intraday. How many shares? Five. How many shares? Five. Ah, now tell me. I clicked on what? Five. Once I clicked on market, the price box will be active. Inactive. Trigger price will open or will not open? Price will not open. Trigger price will open independently if you give it. Stop loss order. Price will open only if you give it. Leave it order. Listening only one in the class? Yes, sir. See the video. Sell. Sell the video complete. Which is a bad idea. We did not buy any share, I should not tell, but don't buy. Like you, we get 29 paisa profit. Where do we invest that 29 paisa now? In this situation, video also went there. Sell idea completed. Now, what is the remaining part of the video? Try to understand properly, interpret the numbers. Now tell me what I am doing. Long term. Long term again I have clicked on market. Once I click the market, what will happen? Buy. But I want to put it, ah, see here. Buy the area is complete. One quantity. Now, tell me. If I click on long term, at the end of the evening, at the, at the end of the evening, I mean uh, closing time, I will be given with a counter seller. No. Answer. No. What will happen? What change will you have? Really, there will be a transaction of buying. Sell. That means really in my account, the DMAT account, the shares will come and sit in the DMAT account. Listening or not? Yes, sir. Now you should answer. Today, if I, today, now, today, if I go to my DMAT account and show you, these, this one share should be visible or will not be visible. This one share, this one share, visible or will not be visible. Will not be visible because I done this on Friday. 
If the session is conducted on Monday, I will show you. Did you understand the point or not? Tell me, when I got this settlement request, how many working days? I one more take conservatively two days. Okay? So tell me now. Friday I done. Friday is a P day, it's not P plus one. P plus one means at least one extra day is required or not. Before one extra day they use it to pay Saturday came. Saturday is it? Working day, not a working day. Not a working day. Sunday, not a working day. Then what is the next working day? Therefore, if you open my Dean account now, that chain will not be shown there. But I can show you on Monday. Now, did you get the point or not? So, therefore, in my Dean account, you can see only all the paste. But the real execution will happen on Monday, which is a working day, like the market. Understood or not? Anyone in the class? Sir, everyone last uh, rose, everyone had got the clarity, yeah? Yes, so now tell me, which order I have given? Long term market, long term in the arena. Long term in this case. Okay, further, let's continue. See, 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 I'm changing, I'm changing, I'm changing. So, what change I mean now? From which order to which order I change it now? Market to which order? Whenever you click on it, you will get your up here done. That's all. That's what's happening here. Price box is opening. Okay? See here. What is the prevailing price? What is the prevailing price? 7.32. Now tell me, 7.32 is the decided price, huh? Remaining last traded price. Remaining last, last traded price. Can I give a price which is lesser than 7.32 or not? Possible yes. or not possible? Possible, yes. possible in market order and limit order. Yes. So see what I am doing. That's all. What have you done? 7.25. That's all. By idea is complete. Maybe you might not see that. Please see here. I'm going back a while. Tell me, what is the last traded price? I am happy with 7.32 not happy. Not happy. I am ready to buy only if another person gives a sale of rate. 7.25. Listening everyone. So I wait for one hour and then I will check out. Okay? Please answer my query now. Everyone see here? Uh, limit order. At what price I gave a limit? See the screen enter. Yeah, see the screen enter. How much I have given? 7.25. I gave buy order, sell order, buy. Immediately what happened? I buy, I will Next. Next, next, next. next. Same cellular again. Yes, this is very, very important. Please see. After this, we will take a break. Hello, listening? Yes, sir. Please see here. Please see the screen once. Sell idea. How much is the prevailing market price? Seven point three two. It's a regular order, intraday now. So, hey, hey. It's a regular intraday now, regular long term. Regular long term transaction. Okay. What is the prevailing price? Already I bought an idea share or not? Intraday I bought an idea share or not, everyone. Or long term I bought, any, I bought a share or not? So, just now, just now I limited myself and I purchased it. Share on a long term basis or not? Yes, when I buy a share on a long term CNC basis, cash and carry basis, really the share will come and sit in my donut account or not? Yes, now I am telling the exchange, sell this share, sell this yes. share, whenever the trigger price is reached and the price is going below that. If it is going above that, I will decide when to sell. Tell me. Please, please answer that earlier. Previous example, previous video, 
I bought by limiting myself at what price? Some point three to us, some point two for you. Everyone. I will. I want to sell at a price higher than seven point two five, lower than seven point two five. Higher, lower, I will not tell you. Higher. If it is seven point five, happy and happy. Eight rupees. Answer me. Six rupees, sir. But six rupees, sir, there is a great marginal gap is there. I don't want to take risk. I want to take risk only of twenty paisa. What I have to do now? Simultaneously give a stop loss order on a sell. Is any one not able to run? Stop loss sell order you give simultaneously on the same share with the same quantity. That means it's an indication that you are giving to the market or to the broker saying that if price is increasing beyond seven point two five, I will take care. Right to sell, I will decide because it's a long term. Is any? If the price is falling, seven point two five became seven. I I am ready to pay twenty paisa. I should not give a wrong answer. At what price I bought? Seven point twenty paisa. I can pay means up to what rate I can pay? Seven point. Answer. Tell me. Price is seven point two five. React or not to react? Answer. Seven point five. It depends. If you want to get more, you should not use it. Happy. It came to seven point two. Reaction or to react? Answer. Seven point one eight. Trigger is seven point one five. Okay, seven point one six. Reaction or to react? Seven point one five. Trigger will open now. Now you have to take a decision. Let's run in. Yes, sir. You may answer why trigger. Do you know? Market how it react? God also don't know. Suddenly from seven point one five it goes to six point two three. Therefore, if the trigger is open, na immediately they will go and see the candlesticks. So how the pattern is moving? Is the name? They will observe the pattern. How the candlesticks patterns are moving up and down? They will observe. Okay, candlestick is a bullish candle or a bearish candle. Bullish candle means price is expected to raise. Bearish candle means price is expected to fall. I immediately go to the chart and I have seen it is going on a red color. Red color means a bullish or bearish. Bearish. It is the market is raising or falling. If it falls, a sudden steep fall will come sometimes. It's a ring, everyone. Therefore, on the basis of candlesticks, I understood that now it is seven point one five. Next fall is not even on seven. It will go directly to six point three, six point four. I will have a huge loss if I don't react. Is there any way, Ivan? Yes, sir. You have to physically go and sell on a stop loss limit order. Market itself will sell automatically in case of a stop loss market order. Are you understanding the point or not, Ivan? Yes, sir. Listen, Ivan. Yes, sir. Listen, sir. What is the trigger price in our example? Seven point one five. Is what order? What price is it? Trigger price. That means, tell me. Please don't get confused. You should have clarity on this. What is the price I quoted on buy? Seven point. Everyone. Price fall to seven point two. React to one, not react to. Seven point one nine. One eight. One seven. One six. One five. What will open now? Trigger will open. I am ready to take up to what? Seven point zero five. But trigger open sir. Seven point one five. Listening everyone. Now you gave a stop loss market order. Okay, trigger open means it's an indication to you that your price is going to come in next to coming future. But you can't do it because you gave a stop loss market order. Listening everyone. Okay, tell me now. Tell me, everyone. Tell me. Price came to seven point one five. Trigger open or not, beta? Open. Answer. Open. One three. Trigger already open. Don't open it once again. Trigger already acted on. Now you can't take any decision, but you have to sit and see what is happening. It's called as a stop loss market order. Is it any? Yes. Tell me. What is the price at which I bought? What is a tolerable loss I can bear? Twenty paisa, which comes to seven point. Tell me, what is the trigger? 
low beta means less volatile stock. High beta means highly volatile stock. Clear? That means a less volatile stock means I will explain how they look like. For example, beta is 0.1. Beta is 0.1. What do you mean by beta 0.1? If market changes by 10%, my company price of share will change by 1%. Change by? 1%. I repeat once again. If company, listening, yes, if the market, for example, beta of security, with that of the market, is 0.2, means what? If the market changes by 10%, I will change only by 2%, either positively or negatively. That concept of change in the security prices with the change in the market prices, we call it as a beta. Low beta is there. Low volatility is there. Low volatility. Low volatility means price changes are not so great. It takes lot of time for change in price. Today the price is 1000. After one year, it will be 1010 rupees. It don't steeply fall, it don't even rise so much. Listening or not? Yes, Those are high beta stocks and low beta stocks. Low beta. Answer. Low beta. low beta stocks, you invest happily, you see. One, two years after, you see what is happening. Because all of a sudden, nothing happens to those stocks. Listening? Yes, uh, listen, why I am telling this is. For such kind of stocks, when movement of the stock price is up and down is very, very low, we go for a GTP order. What is order? GTP. Actually, for the students, this is not required, but still, in a session, I have to explain, I am explaining this. Tell me, what is the first step of what we learn? Market order. Third one. Second one. Third one. Stop loss limit. Fourth one. Stop loss. Fifth one. GTD order. What is the GTD order? Good. Good. It is applicable for infrared or for the uh, long term. When the stock is volatile or less volatile. Less volatile. Movement in stock prices. Movement in the stock prices is very high or very low. Therefore, 5%, 6% change will not come uh, all of a sudden. Maybe after 7 months or 8 months, 5% change will not come. Yes, sir. It is also a stock loss market of that type. Okay, trigger price you will give, everything you will give. In a GTP order, percentage you will mention there. Like this. Then, first you should tell me the point. BSC or NSC? BSC. Tell me Regular trader, aftermarket trader. Regular trader. Long term or intraday? Very long term. GDP orders are not acceptable for intraday. Okay. Next. After that, how much quantity? I click the word. When you click on market, price becomes active or inactive. Trigger will be there or not be there. That also you need not give. GTT order is for less volatile stocks or highly volatile stocks. Very less volatile stock. Clear? That means GTT order is something similar to stop loss order. But stop loss order, immediately highly volatile stocks may use a stop loss order. Highly volatile stocks may stop loss order. My, my stock is volatile. But not highly volatile, it takes a lot of time for a change. See that. GPP order. Good. 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 So, what will happen? I have given how much percentage of loss? See that. Stop loss. Yes, sir, everyone. GPP is a, another way of interpreting the stop loss. Tell me, stop loss, original order, what we have seen before the break. The stop loss is for volatile stocks or less volatile stocks. Highly volatile stock. My stock is not so much volatile, it is a less volatile stock. Better to go for? Better to go for? GDT will work only for? 
it will not work for you. It will not work for you. Seven times days uh, that will not work. It will work only on long term orders. GDP is only for long term. I invested a particular share. I want to hold it for three years. In this three years span, when I am going to get more than five percent loss, then intimately I will sell. Did you understand the point or not? Yes. Here, tell me how much is a loss I can bear. Not answer. Give me one in the class. Give me one. What is the target percentage of profit I should give you? Because you can put anything. Listen carefully. I will explain one point. There is a thin line difference between desire to make profit and the greed to make profit. I will put once again. Everyone, please listen to the statement. There is a difference between desire to make a profit, greed of making profit. Do you know what is the greed of making profit? A person enters into the market. He will see the market growing. He will tell that I will wait for another one day. Let it grow much more. He will wait. Second day also increase will be there. Another one day. He will wait. Another one day. This is called as a greed. When you have reached a level of profit, shut your mouth and come out of the market first. Are you understanding? Or for example, I invested in a stock of 100 rupee. I thought that I have 10 rupee success if I get perfect. First day I have got 10 rupee profit. What do you have to do? Sell and come out of the market. You got your profit. No. What will? What some people will do? 10 rupees first day I have got. Let me wait for. Uh, sorry, 2010 level 12 year. Okay, one company is I will tell the name of company later. 
The company's share price is standing at 3,063 rupees. 2,050 share price is 1 rupee. That is the company, Kingfisher.
Okay. And uh, that's all these four websites at least. You please watch out these four websites at least once in a day. But the problem is, whenever you are in classes or something during the day time, market also will close at the same time. You will be active from 9 o'clock to evening 4, 4 30. During the time only market open and market close. Sunday you will be friends and the market is closed. <laughs> Saturday you will attend classes but you will sleep but the market is closed. So there is no use actually. But the point is, the principle is what matters. And knowing about how the market works, you can suggest others to do the trade. Or at least during a gap period, so you can do the trade easily. Okay. Systematically, knowing about the market if you invest, never you will make losses. Provided you know how to understand the candlesticks. Candlesticks is the most important thing that one should understand. Candlesticks session itself, we can speak for 10 15 hours on candlesticks. But in the limited time available, I will explain not how to trade on candlesticks. I will first tell you what are the candlesticks and what are the varieties of candlesticks available. Listen, I will show you the screen. I will pass on mic to you. You tell which kind of pattern the candlestick has worn. After that, from day after tomorrow, you open a brunner. Go to that particular chapter. Today, bearish market, bullish market, this mania will start. So, therefore, don't make it an addiction that you try to understand how market works. Okay? Session should be useful as a knowledge. Don't make stock market as an addiction when it is student stage. So, try to understand how it works. Not very wrong. But don't make market watch as an addiction. At the time of classes, also below you will open the phone and you will see the market what is happening there. So, it's an addiction. It became addiction to me, it will also become to you. So, therefore, never make it an addiction or else. Mind will be always. One gave you mind, three first cases will be always working about market. What is happening there? Bullish or bullish? In bullish, what kind of bullish it is happening? Normal bullish or uh, it is making any kind of uh, bullish, bearish, like that we will think about that. So, therefore, don't take so much into your mind at a student brain, but first to try to understand. How this bullish and bearish market works on a candlestick? Before going into that, one another video is there. So, first one, tell me this three minutes video in parts I have broken. Everyone understood the concept here? Yeah. Okay? See here. Second video also I will play. Have knowledge on this. See here. By order. I'm going to sell. Sell with a stop loss. Price. Current price is 7.34. How much I'm putting in there? I'm ready to bear only up to a what loss? One second. You're not using it. What is the existing current market price? Already I am always remember. Whenever you are taking a stop loss order, it's an indication that already you have taken a buy order. There's a name. Now you want to stop the loss when you make a counter sell. There's a name. Therefore, you are only creating a new stop loss sell order for the counter buy. Okay? So now tell me, what is the price up to which you can bear the loss? Now you tell me how you ask the question answer. I bought at 7.34. Automatically at the day end, I have to sell or not? Yes. Answer. Yes, sir. My worry is about rise in price or fall in price. Fall in price. Everyone, repeat once again and starting from the beginning. I bought at what price? 7.34. See here. 7.34. Tell me. I will be happy if I sell at 7.5. Cut that longer. Yes. Price began 7.5 at the end of the year. Happy or unhappy? Happy. Will you be? Answer. Seventy-three. 
लाख आदमी बताए हरी तो डेढ़ लाख तो सर
When the market opens, 9.15, for trade, when it starts, 9.15, when it closes, 2.15. Same also for BSC, sorry, NSC. Market watch feature. Bulls and bears, anyone in the candlesticks I have explained, are very, very important. OHLC. How many of you have heard about this OHLC? How many? How many have heard about OHLC in market? Those who play uh, one. So what is OHLC? O represents opening price, H represents highest price, L represents lowest price, C represents a closing price. OHLC. Very, very important for candlesticks. Have you seen candlestick? Yes, sir. Diagram, yeah, the whole one. Yes, sir. That's made up of OHLC. Candlestick is a OHLC candle. So how they look like and how they manage and how they react, what is the psychology of candlesticks, you will understand. But before they tell you what are the four important phrases that you need to keep in mind, number one. Second time it came into power in 2009. Yes or no? Yes, sir. 
then the market has raised like anything. Okay, in such a way that SEBI has announced a circuit breaking again. What is a circuit break? 20 percent hike has reached, 23 percent hike happened. 2009 elections time, when Congress won for the second time, when UPA won. And do you know when again circuit breaking happened? Covid time. Uh, Government of India announced uh, Janata curfew in March 20... Janata curfew 22nd March. Janata curfew 22nd March. After that lockdown from 25th of March. Are you answer where everyone is? The plate is <laughs> on 22nd March. Do you remember? Uh, Janata curfew. Janata curfew announced on 22nd of March. Sir, people don't know what is Janata curfew. After the 24th of March, I said that. Bhaiyo! Close. Close all markets. All of a sudden, government of India, being our Prime Minister, took oath and he said that all the markets will be closed. No physical trading. Nothing will happen. That means immediately, who is the first affected party? Stock market. Again, it has seen the steep down below. 24% stock all. At the time also, SEBI announced a circuit break on a lower rate. Why I am telling this is, listen carefully. There is a company. That company, MD, announced a resignation. Mukesh Ambani, say example. Example, he will never do. <laughs> so, Mukesh Ambani made an announcement. I am going to resign from Reliance Industries Limited at 6 o'clock in the evening. By the time he announces, market is open and already closed. Already closed. Answer, closed. already closed. Means you should tell me, if the market is already closed, will it affect the market price? Yes. Answer, yes. it will not. It will affect not the today's price, it will necessarily impact tomorrow's price. Do you know why? The first person who click on buy, will not buy at the previous closure, will buy at a lesser price than that. That way all buyers start buying at a lesser price because the trade we will give if Mukesh Ammani is there. Not if Kaushi Mukesh is there. <laughs> Are you understanding the point or not? Yes, Are you answer it everyone? Yes, sir. Uh, next. During this two, 9 to 3.30 time, so many things happen, it affects the market. After 3.30, after the market, certain changes happen in the company which necessarily affect the prices of the stocks, but which can't be reflected there. They will not reflect today's closing, they will necessarily impact the tomorrow's opening. Yes, sir. Therefore, tell me, is there a need that tomorrow's opening should be same as today's closing? No. Maybe more? Maybe, maybe less? Maybe. Rarely? Maybe same. Yesterday, let us see, I have taken two companies. TCS I have taken, Asian Brains I have taken. Please see the screen. Tell me, what is the open price of TCS today? Answer that everyone. Who is when this time? That is a closing. 3,000? 236. 3,000? 236. 0.45. Tell me, I will ask you a question answer. Open of this day is same as previous closure or not same? Answer. Okay. How much difference happened? Okay. How much? Around what? Around what? Okay. 9 rupees difference has come. Yes or no? Yes, sir. 9 rupees is opened higher than previous dinner, lower than previous dinner. Okay. That's called as a gap up. That's called as a gap, gap up. Those are called as a gap ups. Okay? See the other side of the story, ancient things. That is the previous declosure. I will see myself dancer. What is the previous disclosure? Please tell me, what is the next day's opening? A change versus how much change happened? 2.5 or 3 rupees change happened. Answer is very wrong. How much change happened? 1 or 3 rupees change happened. Now tell me, the next opening is lesser than the closing, more than the closing. This is a downward fall, upward. This is called as a that's how the gap happens. 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 Gap happens.
and they are giving five and self quotations simultaneously. Always, please listen, a seller who is giving loans to sell at the time frame, prevailing market price is 100. One of the seller gave sell order at 99.1. 99.1. Okay? I, I will write here, you tell me. What is the last traded price? 100. Seller 1, 99.9. Seller 2, 100.1. Seller 3, 99.1. Seller 4, 101. Seller 5, 99.6. Tell me. Who is the best seller for the computer software? Who is having more chance of execution? One, two, three, four, five. Everyone answer the question. Answer. Very good. Three will be the selected. Why? Always the computer system is made in such a way that seller giving the lowest price possible when you come with all others at the time frame. He will be first selected. Listening. Yes, Second, when it comes to the buyer, one person gave 98, 99, 99.5, 99.6, 99.8. Now tell me. Who will be selected now? Out of all these, who will be selected? Answer everyone. Everyone. You see the number, sir? Maybe it is not clear. Why you are waiting here? See here, seller, buyer, no noise please, we don't have that much time, please see there. See the screen, buyer gave how many others? How many buyers are there? Five. Five. How many sellers are there? Five. Five sellers. Tell me, which seller will be selected in the system? Five. Seller 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Answer, five. five will be selected. Buyers for five. Uh, buyers for five. And sellers for who will be selected? Three. Three. Now the order will be executed. Yes or no, everyone? No. Matching is not done. Though buyer la fifth buyer is the best buyer, seller la third seller is the best seller, I will select both of them. But both of them have given same price up to different prices. <laughs> Therefore, Order will not be matched, therefore the orders will be cancelled. That means this is called as a price correction. That means the market is aware that something, our prices are not matching. We are expecting some greed in, in the buying and selling. So buyers will increase the price, sellers will reduce the price. Somewhere the matching will be done in another one, two minutes. Listening or not, everyone. Yes, so therefore, whenever computer system or market has to match two person, what is the first thing that they will keep in mind? Prices. Prices has to match. Everyone, what has to match? Prices. Whose prices? prices. Everyone. Prices. Price has to match. Price has to match. match. So always, what is the priority? Price is the first priority when matching. What is the priority? Price is the priority. I will ask a question answer. Buyer A has given 99.8. 
buyer B also given 99 point eight. He given it 915. He given it 916. Who will be selected? 915 will be selected. 16 will be selected. First they will both are given same price and different price. Everyone. Same price. Then who is the priority here? Price will both are same. But in time who is priority? First person, second person. Always prefer is followed. What is prefer? First in, first out. Who comes first into the market will be first settled with the prices. Clear or not everyone in the class? So therefore the main point you need to understand is So do you understand the price term priority or not? Everyone in the class, answer. Yes, sir. So once you understand this, you will go into the candlesticks analysis. Are you okay with the understanding of this yes, point? Sir. Yes, sir. Always from the stock market, what is the priority? Price. Not answering. What is the first priority? Price. Everyone. Price. What is the next priority? Price. After price, a time will come. Once the price is fixed, then I will check who gave that price. Two persons are there. Who gave first? That person will be executed first. And no one will try to understand. One too many others are possible. Not listening. I repeat. One too many is possible. Again, not listening. I am repeating one last time. One too many is possible. What do you mean one too many? I am a buyer with 100 shares. I am a buyer with 100 shares. 100 shares at 99.8. There is a seller for 11 shares at 99.8. Another seller is there. At least 12 shares, 99.8. One person can break into multiple parts. That's called as an iceberg order. Have you seen in the list of numbers? Iceberg order. Iceberg means it will break into small bits and pieces. Are you listening? Yeah? Yes. Sir. Iceberg, there is an advantage. One part you can put one price, another part you can put another price. Those are called as iceberg orders. Have you seen the DMAT account previously? Yes, sir. What are the orders that are placed there? Regular. First one? Regular. Regular. Yeah. AMO. Uh, yeah, cover, okay. Cover means stop loss or cover. Okay. Next one, third one is iceberg. This is iceberg order. With this, we complete the total orders analysis. Okay. Was, so all the orders analysis have been completed. Now it's your path to open a demand account and start trading. It's a safe to make investments on the stock market, no problem. Okay, at least after session you should understand. There are so many strategies to control the losses. Okay. Sir, okay, now listen. Sir, loss controlling strategies, there are so many concepts at the CFI and SFM are full of stock loss strategies, also called as hedging. Completely. 99% of the final SFM concepts are covered with the this concept of how to stop the losses in finance. So now it's should we can learn. Main point at this stage you need to understand is a normal investor like you who have limited fund availability can also jump into the market and make a game. Get the point or not? Yes, sir. Now we are jumping into the world we are called as a candlesticks. Please keep the heading in your words, sir. You have to draw the candlesticks and try to understand. This is an advanced learning, but still, in the curriculum I found this, therefore I found that this is more useful for the students. So therefore let me put out the candlesticks. Thank you. 
analysis of a stock. This is not a beginner's course. Technical analysis will not be made with beginner. Beginner will not even understand what is an order. Beginner is a person who jump in, make some money. Maybe also when we gain, they don't know what is stock loss. So name is basics of stock market, but we are not just studying basics. Maximum possible orders also be completed. So now let us understand how a candlestick actually works. What is the importance of a candlestick? Number one, what you should not do, I will explain first. What we should not do, all an action. <laughs> Point number one. Okay? Means what? I, I will explain. I will explain. Unnecessarily don't learn the names of candlesticks. I will explain two types of students. Who is better? You tell me. One person who all the section members in companies are, but don't know what is there inside. Another yes. student knows everything inside, but he didn't remember section numbers. Who is better? Yes. Same. When you see the market chart, you can understand, yes, this is a bearish, this is bullish, that's all. Hammer, hanging hammer, morning star, evening star, real names are there. Dozy candle, who you want your names here, don't do all action. And understanding or not? Names is not relevant here. How you are going to interpret the candle is important. Because I have heard so many places, people using technical words, which is useless actually. It's like learning section numbers and leaving content. Are you understanding or not? Who you want your section numbers? And even institute is not bothered about section numbers. Clear? Yeah. So rather than section numbers, remember the content. Likewise, Rather than remember hammer, hanging hammer, standing hammer, who you want your names here? And you understand the point or not? So therefore, names I don't make, but I will make you to understand the candles, how they will appear. Long candles, or there will be a wick and a candle. How to understand analysis of the body of a candle, wick of a candle, Longer wick and a lesser body. Longer body with a lesser wick. Only body without the wick. Only wick without the body. How to understand all these candles? That's what we are going to learn in the today's class. One hour. You spend on understanding this. Guarantee you give. Tomorrow you see the chart. You will tell to your friend or whoever meets you. Hey, market is going on a very strong way. Market is going on a bullish trend. Now resistance will be taken, support functions will start, resistance bones happen. So you can easily understand what is happening in the market. That's for sure I give you a guarantee. Spend one hour time. Shall we start? Yes, sir. Hello, shall we start? Yes, sir. Ah, see the screen. To analyze the technicality of a stock, we have three charts available. There are 11 types of charts. Use the same. In the only three people we use. Human beings use only three. <laughs> Number one. First one. Line chart. Second one. Bar charts. Third one. Candlestick chart. Candlesticks the other thing is also there. That's called as a Hilken Ashi. Japanese. Japanese. Hilken Ashi. H-A-I-K-E-M-A-X-H-I. Hilken Ashi. Again, she is an average candle. I will tell you when you come there, but not even required at the beginner's lesson. But make understanding of the Hikanashi candle. Uh, so there are three types of, uh, mainly three types. Line, uh, line, bar, and candles. Line, bar, candles. I know when you reading you, please have you. Yes. No answer, please. 
the state a lot of time. Literally takes a lot of time to understand. I have to consolidate all the charts. I have to make you to do. If you see in the morning, I can test your knowledge also I can today. Please listen carefully, we don't have that much time. We see here once. Tell the name of one company and work on that. ITC. TTLIC product. I heard ITC first. If you have any ITC, who said ITC? ITC. TCS, sir. TCS. TCS. That means I cannot open it. TCS, please. Crazy, but I don't know why. See here. Sir, sir, okay. Please, see there. They are tradingview.com. You are given two options for any company. Launch a chart. See just a roller wheel. I click on launch chart. This is called as a typical line chart. Whenever you want to trade, must and should you need to watch the charts. Or else it's a stupidity to buy and sell stocks. Seriously. Only fool will invest without reading the charts. Student trader can no problem. But when you start putting huge money in the market, without seeing the charts, if you are investing, you are just putting a pass. Either way, or you are not going by analysis. Okay, you are not going by market psychology and sentiment. Okay? See here. What a line chart will explain. Let me show you. See the screen, don't write anything or don't do anything, please see the screen. Mark, see the screen. Okay, see here. Did you see a point here? Exactly here. Yes, sir. Hello, I'm talking to you. Yes, sir. Ah. There, if you can see to the extreme right side in the board, I can't show that. If I can, I will. So I will do this. Did you see? What is the price running there? 3,000? 2 not 9, 2 10 like that. Yes, sir, my reward. Like that, wherever I put, there will be one number. Here, 3,211.05. Have you seen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See here now.
has already said. I will put a mark, you tell me the answer. What is this price? Uh, what is this price? Answer, 3 to what is 3 to 16.95? It is the last trader price at the point of time. Are you understanding or not? That means a line chart will give the details of all the prices. Huh? Last trader price. Huh? That's a line chart. Line chart, if you observe clearly, see the screen and tell me. See the screen and tell me. I'll ask you question, answer. The right answer. Because nothing complicated there, you don't complicate the issues. But tell me now, PCS is showing a downward bullish, uh, bearish trend or it is showing an upward bullish trend. Downward bearish trend or upward bullish trend. Answer, I will draw a line, why don't you tell me? No, no. So it is showing a bullish trend or a bearish trend? Follow is a question. I am not saying you understand it, but where do you live? It is having a fall or a raise. Whenever our PCS is showing there, fall in the trend. So, when you are investing in PCS, be careful when you invest. It is a good company. Every day, raise and fall will be there. On an overall trend basis, it is showing a fall. Lessening everyone. Yes, sir. Answer. Yes, sir. Like this it will be. I will explain. One person has got 70% in foundation. One person, uh, the same person got 65% in winter. Same person got 53% in final. In three places he passed the course. But the overall performance has increased or reduced. Her. Same thing. ECS is a good company in all the cases. No doubt. But on an overall trend, if you observe, it is showing a downward trend. This is how line charts will be useful to track. Line charts will not be useful to go on a day-to-day -day basis and analyze. Overall trend can be understood using the line charts. Did you get the point or not, everyone? Yes, sir. sir, I want to invest on a day-to-day. Minute-to-minute, I want to analyze. Minute-to-minute, I want to analyze. Line chart will not be used now. Lines are can be used, cannot be used. Cannot be because it doesn't give a good picture over a particular period of time. 15 minutes or 10 minutes or 5 minutes, it will not give a dark info. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listening everyone in the class. Yes, sir. Tell me, overall trend can be understood using what chart? Yes, I'm very happy, everyone. Overall trend in the market can be understood using what? Yes, sir. Everyone. Yes, sir. Then I will put now Nifty chart. Will you tell the trend? Yes, sir. Instead of PCS, what I want to put here? Nifty. Nifty. Nifty, Nifty, I will put. Launch the chart. Everyone. See here, please, I am putting 12 months period trend. Fall, raise up. Fall. This is another trend. 
and again Nifty is also not at a higher trend. Nifty is also falling down. In the fall, you are seeing some highs. Listening? Yes. In the fall, you are seeing some raise. Every day on a day to day basis, some raise happening. But on a overall outset, if you come back with the same pace in which it reached 2020, 2019, it is not in the same pace today. It is falling down. In this fall, you are seeing some heights. Okay? So, in summary, what I want to convey is line chart will be useful for what? Day to day, point to point analysis or overall analysis. Or? That's all. It will only give a overall analysis of the prices. That's all. Yeah. What is happening in the market on an average basis, you can understand it in the line chart. But it is not useful for decision making purposes. Up to here, are we having a clarity? Yes. Next. This is not so interesting, right sir? Unless and until these candlesticks come, nothing great in these models. Second. No, what is the second one? Bar charts is the second category. What is a bar chart? Bar chart look like this. Please see the screen. It's a man. Shall we? Opening, high, low, closing. Like that we will put the bars. Okay? So the overall market will trend. Overall market will trend. Opening, high, closing, low. This is how it is. Listening to everyone in the class. Sometimes it will also be like this. Opening, closing, high, low. Like this also can be. These type of nothing but they will show four prices. Before the break, we understood one. Before the break, after the break, what is Chelsea that I said? After the break. After the break, immediately I'll show you one concept called as a road at Chelsea, if you remember. Yes, one zero. Opening. One is picture. Yes, one is hell. Yes, one is see. Yes, These four are very important components of the green ties or not. Yes, that will be mentioned in this bar chart, but without a candle. Okay? It will make you to understand at a particular given time frame, how much opening is there, how much closing is there, how much highest and how much, how much, how much uh, lowest. But, whether it is on a bullish trend or bearish trend, you can't understand. Now we are coming into the last very important and interesting area called as a candlesticks. How they apply is a question. First, everyone, if you want, you make a small note before we start. Technical analysis, the three kinds of charts are there. On the first side. Please read the entire First one. Second one. And third one. Please write down. Charts for technical analysis. Charts for technical analysis. Line charts, line charts, keep a dash and write, overall trend, overall trend. Next, bar charts, <coughs> bar charts, OHLC patterns, OHLC patterns. That means what you can understand using a bar chart. Rags are opening, what is there, closing, what is there, highest to lowest closing, you will understand. Bearish trend is going on, bullish trend is going on. I don't, I don't even uh, imagine that someone will be using bar charts for understanding the patterns. You can't understand that at this point. You can only analyze them what is highest, lowest closing, opening at a particular time frame. 915 to 930. What happened in the market? What is the opening? What is the closing? What is the highest? What is the lowest? You can understand using the bar chart. 
without can you make any decision making? Trendy you cannot understand. Just to open and closing analysis you can do. You are having one. The third one, the king of the ring. Who is that? The candlesticks. Keep it action, right? Complete analysis. Even now in the world, everyone, including Warren Buffett, to a small investor, everyone invest only on the basis of movement of candlesticks. Movement of candlesticks. Candlesticks, if you can interpret properly, generally you will have made losses. In general, if you watch it properly, generally you will have made losses. You will understand what will happen in the future. Bhavshavani. Seriously, I am not joking, sir. Seriously, when you understand the patterns of uh, candlesticks, now, you, will under, you will understand what will happen in the future. This is how it can move. In every 100 times, 85 to 90 times, you will go right. 10 to 10 times, you may go wrong. Listening? Yes, uh, let us understand the patterns clearly, how candlesticks are actually formed. See here. Candlesticks will have one color, four parts. Everyone, please listen to the concept clearly. Shall I? Shall I move on? Yes, sir. Every candlestick will have four components and one color. Color is important or unimportant? Both. It's important sometimes, it's unimportant at ten times. Okay. Body of the candle, everyone please listen. Body of the candle is important sometimes. Wick of the candle is important sometimes. When wick plays important role, when the body plays important role, is it decision making that you need to make in this session now? Shall we continue? Yes, sir. Uh, see your screen. Parts of a candlestick. Please read. Wick will be there. The highest point is called as what? High. Candle last edge is called as a closing. Candle lowest path is called as a opening. Lowest path in the stick is called as a low wick. High wick, low wick. Closing body, opening body of a candle. Are you understanding what I have written there? What is that color you found? Yeah. What is that color you found? Yeah. Everyone not participating in a room, tell me what is that color you found there? Yeah. It's a green candle. Green candle always tells about bullish trend in the market. Bulls always raise the prices, bears always uh, crashes and pulls down the prices. Okay? More sellers, less buyers. Which market? More sellers, less buyers. More supply, lesser demand. Where is the militia? More buyers, lesser sellers. Answer. That's called as a bearish and bullish trends. Clear everyone in the class? From now, there is a clash between bulls and bears. Who will win is the entire part of this story. Clear or not everyone? So let us understand how we candles want to interpret certain things. Though candles is a diagram, it speaks the truth. What it want to tell is the entire story of discussion. See the screen once. You tell Tell me what is this? What is this? Vikta Bonia. Everyone. High wick. Low wick. This is called as highest price. This is called as lowest price. This is called as today's opening. Or the time frame you are taking at the time opening. Answer there. Tell me how many prices are there? Four. H. L. C. Repeat once again. O-H-L-C Very bad. Number one. O-H-L-C Open. Open. H-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L-C-O-L
merged these are the four things clear everyone yes, sir. now tell me body of the candle is red da green a answer green very good next slightly change in the example
इनसे फिल्म बुलिस एलिडाउट ब्लू कलर है इन्हें बुलिस ट्रेंड है इन्हें बुलिस ट्रेंड है ऐसा नहीं है इन्हें बुलिस ट्रेंड अब वो हाईएर ओपनिंग एंड लोअर क्लोजिंग और लोअर ओपनिंग एंड हाईएर क्लोजिंग वेरी स्मार्ट है हाईएर ओपनिंग एंड लोअर क्लोजिंग बुलिस स्मार्ट है लोअर ओपनिंग एंड हाईएर क्लोजिंग मुझे समझो बुलिस में वेरी स्ट्रेंथ वेरी बिल्कुल नहीं है रेड कलर ग्रीन कलर रेड ग्रीन रेड कलर अ कैंडल इफ इट इज फॉर्म ऑन द बॉडी It is called as a bearish candle, but sometimes that may also be not true. In what cases that will go wrong? That's what we are going to analyze here. Beyond looking like this, people will mug up the name, sir. Okay, people, morning star candle, evening star candle, like that they will see. When market trend starts, sir, today morning star, evening star, standing hammer, like that they will tell the names, sir. And they will forget what is happening in the market. Sentiment and psychology, they will forget. They will remember the names, which is of no use. So therefore, in this particular session, we are going to understand the psychology of a candle. What candle want to tell? For that, ten pages of notes I have made already. As to understanding the patterns of candles, how it look like. Once complete, Anna, then I will show you the trading view chart of candlesticks. You will analyze and tell me which kind of market I won in the last two days back. Yes, sir. No, not only one. Yes, sir. Uh, take a break. Uh, they were doing this. Some please made a long make an announcement. See the screen marks. Candlesticks should be analyzed as under. See the. You can analyze a candlestick. In three ways, on the basis of momentum, also called as a body gauge, also called as a breakout candle. Second one, you can see a candlestick as a reversal candlestick. Third one, you can see it as a daisy candlestick. All the three will show the psychology of the market. How buyers and sellers are thinking about the market. You can understand using the candlesticks. Sir, I didn't understand what you said. No one can understand unless and until you understand how the candles actually work. See the screen once again. How many types of analysis one can make on the candles? Number one, momentum. Momentum means body analysis. Tell me, in a candle there will be three parts. Taking only four parts. Parts like you see, there will be only three. Body to mix. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Body. Body. Vixu will be there. Vixu can again divide into highest, lowest, opening and closing. But technically, two parts will be there. Body, Vixu. Yes. Clear, everyone. Yes. One body, two Vixus. So we can call two parts will be there. Body and a Vix. Vix a candlestick. Clear, everyone in the class. Yes. Okay. See here. So this is complicated discussion. So if you understand, if you listen. Carefully to the words you can, because for you I I will explain, but for me who might not explain is not the most relevant at all. First point number one, you have to train and you have to understand. On a training continuously you train a uh, six years uh, hence I started training on markets six years back. I saw some one person in our place in Hyderabad. I saw him inspired. After that I asked him how to invest. He said that you put money and lose. You understand not about it. So after some number of days, yes, we started putting money. We lost observing candlesticks. Slowly it became a habit. It became an addiction today. But try to understand clearly. I am explaining you. You understand. You can directly implement from where is the uh, where end of it. So please see the screen properly. Candlesticks are of three types: momentum candles, momentum candles. Momentum candles are what importance will give? Body importance or weak importance? Or body importance will give. Reversal candlestick, weak importance will give. What importance will give, sir? Weak, weak will be given more importance. In what? Reversal candlestick. And third one, daisy candlestick is a neutral candle. Listening, everyone. Yes, sir. But this response is very bad. Everyone, answer my question. 
candles to prominent as analysis you can make. Yes. Next uh, question. Yes. Momentum analysis. Momentum means what you will see. Yes. All the candle you have answer. Yes, sir. Yes, Second one. Yes, sir. Reversal candle. Which analysis you will make? Yes. Which analysis you will make? And only the third one. Yes. Yes. Three candles. Okay? Practical. Theoretical completed. Let us see practical. I will take a little In the realm of candles. Please see the screen. Which one will you put away? Bars are. Lines are candles are. Okay. Observation, please. You tell now. I will ask you the patterns, you answer. Which kind is this candle? Moment. Don't do this, I need to explain that. Don't do all that. Okay. Higher wick and lower body, higher wick, higher wick and a small body, or a small wick and a bigger body? Sir, I will, I will zoom in. Small wick or bigger wick and a small body. <laughs> this is a momentum candle or reversal candle or a daisy candle. These are all momentum candles. Means a bigger body with a small wick either to the top or to the down on both the sides. This is a moon. Yes. Sir. Okay. Next type of. Observation, please. What is that? When you observe here, bad observations, when you are making, see there. Which kind of candle it is? Those are the dozy candles. How to understand them? Next part. Next. It's working now. Huh? Are you smart? Is it like? So no more. I see here. Please make your observations on the candle. Please tell me. See here. I will show you this pattern. You tell me. In this overall trend, more amount of momentum candles are formed, more amount of reversal candles are formed. See, see my answer. Thank <laughs> you. 
So if you understand, significantly what is the momentum candles are there? Listen carefully. Green color, red color. Momentum candles are most significantly found. That's when market is also showing the upper trend. See the yeah, market is showing a rising trend, a falling trend, a rising trend because huge body of green color is there. Bearish market is throwing the market upside. Okay? This is a basic analysis, but we need to understand each and every candle here. Okay? How to make it this is the next part of the story. See here. Tell me. Candle sticks. How many analysis we can make? Three. Number one. Momentum analysis. Second one. Reversal. Reversal. Number three. That's all. These are the three types of analysis. Now let us understand each and every one clearly. Momentum analysis. See here. So the first one. Can you please increase the volume in this? <coughs> so see here, the bullish candlesticks and the bearish candlesticks, we have to understand how they actually work. See the screen ones. A bullish candlestick let us take. How it actually works and how it actually operates. Okay? See here. I will show you how this particular trend is. Here if you observe, on this particular candle, this is a wick or this is a body. Everyone? Wick is there or not there? Wick itself is not there. Do you know what does it mean? It's the highest is it's a closing. It's opening is it's lowest. Hello everyone? Yes sir. Let us take this is. Friday's candle. Last Friday. Let us say that this is a Friday's candle. Friday's candle, if it looks like this, what does it mean? Buyers are influencing the total market throughout Friday. Who is not at all influencing? <laughs> sellers influencing is almost negligible. Even though sometime during the day, sellers try to influence. Again, the bulls have taken over the control over the entire market. So try to understand clearly. If this kind of uh, candles are formed, if this kind of candles are formed, it is an indication that who is taking the control over the market? Bulls are? Bulls are taking the control of. Okay. See here, I will make an observation. Everyone that has bulls, listen carefully. Body of Vika. Vika is there or not there? Though wick is there, a small wick may be there, which is negligible and invisible. Clear or not everyone? If only body is there, it is an indication that, I repeat, only body is there, it is an indication that the opening is its lowest, the closing is its highest. There's a name. Yes, sir. That means, how to interpret this in another way? I will give one very tiny analysis. I will say how beautifully you will analyze the market. I said about the psychology of the candle. So you analyze and tell. How can you interpret in different way? Do you know what does it mean? There is no fall during the day. Price of that particular share means go on increasing. If there is any kind of fall in the middle, the lower we could have formed. Hello, I am talking with you everyone. Yes, that means try to understand clearly. This is a full momentum market. Means green color is a bearish market or a bullish market. Bullish. Everyone. Bullish. And this is a momentum candle or a reversal candle. Momentum. Here tell me. Opening is its. Start listening. Opening is its. Closing is its. Next. See, this kind of candle, you should answer and should listen. This is a momentum candle, a reversal candle. Momentum, momentum candle. Again, it is a momentum candle. But try to understand.
understand how to interpret this. See the screen. Open to here. Listening. Open to here. Reach the highest. Closing. See you now. Open to here. Reach the peak. Again it influences the fall. Again it reaches and very close. If you understand the point, I am not going to understand the person. I will draw here. I will draw here. Open here. Now uh, what happened? What happened? It reached. It reached to its peak. After uh, what happened again? It made a fall. And again what they did? They made a reason stop here. At the time of closing, who won the game? Who won the game? Bulls are there, why the sellers will not be there? It's a huge range market, that's all. Who has taken the control over the market? Bulls. Answer. Bulls. Bulls have taken the control. Bulls control is a green color or a red color? Yeah. That's what this candle has been found. Are you understanding the point of what you want? That means, market started somewhere, Bulls have taken control and reached to the peak, Later, when the bulls take in control, use a common sense and psychology. Tell me now, bulls take in control means more buying or more selling? More buying. Everyone. More buying. Everyone. More buying. More buying. More price will flower or price will increase? Yes. When price increases, sellers will come and sell at that higher price. Yes. Not listening. Yes. Understand the market psychology. Don't mug up the candles. Okay, tell me now. More and more bullish market is going on. Means if buy will happen or sell will happen. More bullish market means buy will happen or sell will happen. Answer. More buy means demand or supply. Price will increase or decrease. When price increases, who will be the happiest person? Immediately sellers came into the market and they sold. When they sold all of a sudden, price will fall. And again buying started, they closed with the buyer's domination. Did you understand the point or not? That's where the candlesticks are formed. Everyone has got an idea of how the candlestick is formed. Anyone in the class? Yes, sir. So tell me, in these two cases, in these two, ca two, two, two cases, momentum candles, whatever you have seen, which is more important? Wick is important and body is important. Body is more important than the wick because Whenever I tell about a bullish candle, bullish candle top path will be opening, top path will be the closing. That means it closed at a higher price and lower price are higher price. Are you understanding the point of everyone? Okay. Next issue. After that, second one. See the notes. Take a minute time. Read the notes properly. Make it fast. Increase in the price will increase, the price will fall. Answer. 
means opening and closing up. Opening and closing up. Open. Opening and closing or opening and closing. Therefore, downwards the closing will be there. But this trend will not continue forever. When the small sale happens, price will fall, price will rise up. When fall in price happens, automatically the buyers will come and take the positions. Yes. Yes, okay. See the second uh, diagram here. You tell me the interpretation, how to understand this. Tell me. What happened to the market? First it only opened at top or opened at bottom up? Top. Huh? Top. top. So opened at the top and reached. And reached. Highest. And the highest. And what happened immediately? It fall to the low and again whenever it is very low, who will be at the advantage? Highest. They took some position but they could not dominate them. Therefore they stopped at a closing until higher than the very much low. That's all. That's how the market works. I understood the point, I'm not agreeing with the price. Understood the psychology of the candle or not? Yes, now you should tell how many candles you understood now. First one. Bull, first one bullish, second one bearish. In bullish, how many candles again? Two. Now tell me. Listen, listen, listen. I will ask you a question and answer. You are observing the chart. I mean candle chart, candle charts. Please listen everyone. You are observing the candle chart pattern. Market is going down. Market is going down. Going down. When market is going down, suddenly you found, suddenly you found a green color. Okay? Full body candle you found. What does it mean? That is okay, buyer. Whether you have to buy or sell, you tell me now. I repeat once again. Like this, don't do trade in market. You get to lose money. This one first. I repeat. See, a trend is like this. Market remains like this. Straight down it went. It is going down. Somewhere here, Somewhere here, you find a green color candle. Tell me, how do you understand? When you are watching the market, you found that market is falling down. In that fall, you found one green candle, a green candle without a big. Now you should take the market is going on a bearish trend or bullish trend. Answer, bearish trend or bullish trend? Still, it is a bearish trend only. Observe and understand how the market candles has to be understood. See here, raising market, green candle is found. Further, it will throw into the bullish market. Here, I will give an explanation like this. Try to understand. I have, I, I, I have two horses. I have a two horses. One is a strong horse, horse, another one is a lean horse. Listening. One is a strong horse, another one is a lean horse, weak one. Clear? Now tell me. I took a cart, attached a strong horse onto the right side, attached a lean horse to the left side. And I started them, pull the cart. Lean hearts will pull, but whose pulling will be significant? Oh. Answer. Oh. Cart will move to the right side or left side? Right. Answer. Right side. Same thing will happen. When the market is on a bearish trend, suddenly two, three players cannot change the trend and take it to the bear, uh, bullish market. That means candles you need to understand at what time they are getting found. Intentionally, do you know? Some manipulators will be there like Ashok Mota. This is a scam has done. When the market is moving on a downward trend, intentionally we created a fake demand by creating the green candles. People started buying at the immediately we sold the sales at the higher price. Did you understand? 
understand what I said now? Yes, sir. Sir, that scam is a very big thing, but try to understand clearly. Market moving on a downward trend or higher trend? Here, yeah, here in my example. Suddenly, a group of 100 to 100 buyers cannot influence the market. So, when you have to give importance to the green color candles, when it is raising, if you see a green candle, further it will move up. Listen in. Yes, sir. I will ask you another question then. Market is raising, 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 raising throughout the day. When the red the candle you found, means sir, share prices are going to come down. Oh. Ah, this is the model of the story. Understood the point or not, everyone? Yes. Just one candle cannot change the pattern. Pattern change will happen because of, for example, red candle, red candle, red candle, red candle, red candle continuously. Five foot and red candle shall say. Then you have to stop. Don't trade. Something is going wrong in the market. Is the name? Yes. It will take a downward trend. Proof shall I show you? It's available. See here. See here now. If you observe here, market is going on a raising trend or falling trend. See that. So when the market is raising or falling, suddenly one big candle came, the red color. Did market fall? Slowly at that time it falls, again it will. So no RSM. Are you understanding the point of view? Yes. So no RS, unnecessarily don't get excited in market. Intentionally some uh, crooked fellows will be there. Who try to manipulate the buyers? All green colors will come now. Suddenly he will put a one lakh share sale. What will you think? Hey, bear is trying started. You are the biggest bear now. <laughs> so, so try to understand. We will think that the bearish market started. When bearish market started, what do we do? Then you start selling. And they start selling at lower prices. These people who sold the shares one lakh at uh, 1,000 rupees, they will buy at 961 rupees. Because the logic of the market or not everyone. Yes. That's why candles make it's not a joke. You need to understand the patterns properly. Understood up to where I'm not everyone. Yes. So candles will manipulate you. So intentionally some people will do buying and selling just to manipulate the entire circuit. See here, green, 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 suddenly red. Why it has to come? And that is strong though. If you are a bear, what you will think now? And the market is going to fall. When market is going to fall, what you will do? Some fall the shells and sell for starals, sir. It may go much more deep. But you forgot to understand that. In an increasing trend, one candle cannot change the pattern. This is a classic example. Two candles also will change here. Again, two green trend started. There is a new one that will run. Again, it started. See here. Pattern how it started. Green, 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 green. Suddenly, one small red again. It doesn't influence. Again, green. Again, small red. Green, green, green. Again, it was a big, big candle found. Again, it raised. This big candle could influence or cannot influence her. It cannot influence the market. Clear or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Raising trend of green candle. Impact. Will impact or will not impact? Yeah. The answer here. Yeah. Yeah. Answer. Yeah. Falling trend of red candle. Yeah. Answer. Yeah. Rising trend of red candle. Yeah. Falling trend of green candle. Yeah. This is a model of the story. Understood the point, everyone? But with an exception. But with an exception. That exception is the resistance level and support levels. That is why, at the last part of the story, I will discuss in a good place. Up to here, everyone understood the concept? Practically, everyone understood? Yes, sir. See the screen now. This is what I have done here. You can see. Please don't waste the time. Read.
and privacy is a problem, who will jump into the market, who will jump, and they have made them control in the range to the players. By the time market is closing, who won the game? Therefore, it is also which market? That means what you have to understand, in a raising trend, in a in a raising trend, if you see these kind of red marks, it is an indication of rise up, it is an indication of further rise up, it is an indication of a fall up. In a raising market, you found a candle like this. Tell me, how to interpret this candle now? This is a red color. Where is trend? No, this is also a bullish market. Are you understanding the point or not? Clear everyone in the class. And moreover, you should also understand market is falling down. Market is falling down. At that time, you found a stick like this. Now tell me, what can happen here? Who is taking the control slowly? Birds are bulls are use common sense if any. Answer. Bulls are birds are. Again, some people are not in this world. Please listen once again. There is a falling trend, raising trend. Second example. Falling trend, again I have seen a red color mark like this. Clear? This is an indication of uh, this is an indication of uh, bulls taking control over the birds are birds taking control over bulls are. Bulls taking control over the Yes, suddenly, if these kind of candles continuously appear, it is an indication that market is going to raise. That means a total downward trend will be reversed, therefore these are called as a reversal candlesticks. Are you understanding why it or not? So these are called as a reversal candlesticks. Why? Trend reversal will be possible only because of those. Listening or not everyone in the class? Slowly they will start as a small body, when the small body, they become green small body. Suddenly they become the momentum candles and they will raise the market. All of a sudden market will go to the top website. That's why the market is showing very often. I will take one company share and I will show you how it actually applies. But before that, understood the psychology of the market or not everyone. Explain me, I will listen. How to interpret the third candle? You first see it. Don't see, see there. First, observe how the market is reacting. It opened at a low price, higher price. Answer. Low price. Answer. Low price. Okay. It reached peaks or not? Yes. At the highest price, who will take advantage? Yes. Bears taking control over. Yes. And where bears have fallen into the market, suddenly price has fallen. Oh, yes. Listening, huh? Yes. But that number of bulls are not there in the market at that time. They are, they are taking control, but they have taken only a limited control over the market. So at the end of the market is closed, who is taking the control? There. So though green color is there, this is an indicator of a bearish trend. How in the previous example, at a downward trend, if you see a red color, it is a trend reversal. Huh? Raising market when these kind of green candles come, it is an indicator of falling trend in the market. Did you get the point that I said earlier in the class? Previously, one example I showed you are market is market is big, big, small red color. What is the indicator? This one is found. This candle is found. In the falling market, what is the indicator? This is a bullish trend or bearish trend? It is a bullish trend. This is green color or red color? Red color. Red color. How are you doing this? This is a green color or red color? Green. Answer? Green. Green color. Okay, tell me. Green color is an indicator of bullish or bearish? No. When emphasis or momentum candle comes, then only color is significant. When more weaker, small body is there, if anyone asks color, tell them I am color blind. Really don't tell any color. Color is significant or insignificant? Insignificant. At the time, what plays a major role? Vicky is playing a major role. 
clear on that only one. Uh, tell me now. This particular market opened here. Reached peak, sir. Who controls the entire market? Who controls the entire market? Who shall control the entire market? When who's control the entire market and raises the prices, who will take advantage of that? Suddenly, rates will come. Okay, they will sell at that price. No selling happens. Again, what happened? Again, what happened? Bulls started taking control, but they could not take control beyond this. Are you understanding the point or not? So, whose fall is most significant? Bulls fall is significant at the end of the day. So, this is an indicator of which kind of market? Very smart indicator. Obviously, this one also. Listening or not, everyone in the class. So, therefore, this is how the candles will be formed. Up to here, understood the point or not, everyone in the class? Yes, sir. Uh, bearish trend cycles, let us see. I will take one company, name one company, I will open that. Don't get TCS, yes, already we show. Adani, Adani. Adani, yeah? Adani, 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 I'm launching the chart. Uh, see here. See the president, tell me now. Hey, everyone, please, please. Uh, I will show you an indicator. You tell me, I will reserve. I'm pointing out. Here, increase or decrease? Increase. Increase or not again? Increase. Answer. Interpret this red candle now for me. Interpret the red candle. First, tell me. Low opening or higher opening? Higher opening. Higher opening. Low opening or higher opening? Higher opening. Answer. Higher opening. Higher opening. It reached? Higher opening. Higher opening. Again it has? Fall. And again it reached the? So, red color or blue, uh, green color? Red or green? This one, this one, this one, this one. Red or green? Red color. Red is an indicator of bearish or bullish. Don't tell like that. That's what I want to tell. Try to understand when the markets are rising, any candle like that will further increase the market. Further it will again. This is a classic proof. Are you understanding the point or not everyone? So whenever red color comes, don't get excited. Market is falling, market is falling. You will fall, market will not fall. Are you understanding the point or not? You will fall unnecessarily into the trap. Market will not fall. You observe the theory, the trends are available. Well, you only tell the name of company, Adani, and I have shown you that. This is how the trends actually apply. Now, do you understand how to watch the market? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, sorry. Last part. Two. See here. Test your knowledge. Hello. I will now understand. How much do you understand from this? You tell me, right? What is the first type of candle? You saw the first candle type in the market. How do you understand? It is which kind of candle? Momentum candle. Bearish or bullish? Second type. Momentum uh, reversal. Uh, next step. Bullish or bearish? Next step. Third one, these are neutral candles, not those. Those means lighter. Color also you cannot see. Clear or not, everyone? Uh, fourth case. Fourth case, it is a bearish, bullish. Answer. Which kind of candle? Reversal candle with which kind of bullish candle? This is which candle? Reversal candle with a bearish candle, that's all. These are the only candles you will find. Sixth kind of candle you can never find in your life. In this permutations and combinations, so many discussions I can make. Moving averages, okay, average, normal averages, 
advance in moving averages. But I understand you or not, on this I can make another 10 hours discussion on candlesticks, sir. But main logic and the basic subject matter of discussion will be always the same. Now tell me, what is this kind of candle? Momentum, reversal, first one. Everyone? Bearish or bullish? Second candle? Which kind? Next one. Neutral candle, next one. Reversal candle, which kind? Bullish. And next one. Reversal candle, which kind? That's all this is end of the candles analysis. This is the one hour and the fifteen minutes of candle. Not one hour, fifteen minutes, sir. Fifteen minutes separate, one hour separate. Not one hour, fifteen minutes, sir. One hour and the separate fifteen minutes candle. How is it play? Please see the screen once, please. Please, please see here. In the fifteen minutes of time frame, these things happen. Please see here. In 15 minutes of time frame, these things happen. In a 15 minutes time frame, bearish trend form, strong bearish trend form, strong bullish trend form, close with the bullish trend. Sorry, close with the bearish trend. But then is it in color? Clear or not? Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. But what happened at the end, let us see. Color is green, huh? Color is red. Closing, closing time. Answer. This happened over a period of. This happened over a period of. Listen, this is first 15 minutes, second 15 minutes, third 15 minutes, fourth 15 minutes, total making one hour. Do you understand? First 15 minutes, bearish or bullish? Everyone. Next 15 minutes. Next 15 minutes. Next 15 minutes. Bearish, but green in color. Yes. Is a name? Yes. How many 15s are made now? Oh. Answer? Oh. Say 50. Say 15 minutes? Oh. One hour. 60 minutes. Oh. Is a name? Oh. Yes. If a four candles look like this in 15 minutes of time frame, how the one hour candle should look like? After one hour, if you see how the consolidated candle should be, I will draw. See here. It started at the Higher or not here, it end up with a low. This is a low, this is the high. Understood? Yes, uh, in the 15 minutes time frame, this is the lowest and this is the highest. Yes, sir. Listening? Yes, sir. It opened here and closed here at the 60th minute. Yes, sir. Did you understand the marks or not? Yes, sir. Opened here. Close here. But when closing is made, green or red? Green. Answer? Green. So, is that open? Here it is opening. Parallelly I have to draw. Opening here, closing here. Opening here, closing here means raise or fall up. Raise. And the green or red? Green. That means overall market there is a neutrality. This is how one hour candle look like. Understand the point or not, everyone? So don't get excited with the red color marks. Okay. So wait, wait for one hour. Understand how the patterns are running. After that, you take some action and decision. This is called as a concept of price actions. That means whether to buy or sell. Decide on the basis of candlesticks by maintaining your patience. That much patience do you have? No. I have? No. Therefore, traditional brokers you have to meet. Are you understanding? I will be in class teaching some class, or I will be in my practice, I will be in a client place. Suddenly, market raise will happen. What I will do? Nothing I can do. At that time, who should help you? Traditional full time brokers, if you are trying, they will do all this work. Their work is to watch the market. Clear everyone? 
with this and closing the session on stock markets. And thank you very much for that. This is one of the wonderful websites I saw in my life regarding finance. Every information about the company will be available. What is the name? Chitrida. You tell the name of the company, everything will be available. For example, the Zomato. See here, like this, we will give information. Chitrida is a website where it will give complete information about a company. Incorporated in 2010, when it went for public issue. See here. IPO of details, listing data, face value, price, lot size, total sale, fresh issue, offer for sale, issue type, listed at, next, IPO of timetable, lot sizes, IPO of reservation, <coughs> subscription status, sir. how many people subscribe, 51179, subscribe by QIB, qualified institutional buyers. Is the name? Yes, non institutional investor, 32.96, retail, 7.45, like you and me. Not Zomato order, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Zomato order, sir. 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 Zomato order, Zomato IPO listing details, company's information, listing the training, everything about this particular company. What is the name of the website? Chittorga. Any company you want to open up, you will find all the financial details, non-financial details, technical details, administrative details, everything is available. Okay. Any company if you want to know the ratios, etc., go to this website, follow that, perfect information will be available. Do you have everyone in the class? Yes, sir. Okay. Do this and close the session. Anyone have the few minutes you can ask me. Anyone have the questions? Time insufficiency. Options means if you let me take another one out there. And I have played. Any other questions? Hello, everyone. Any questions? We we'll take a five questions. So, any of you, if you have questions, please raise your hand and pass on your Shall we close the session now? Yes, and everyone, how do you feel about the session? Understood properly? Yes, so, <coughs> stock market is a motion where we can't complete in one go or six hours or seven hours, but still, I made an attempt to make you understand the most important technicalities inside the stock markets. To understand the candles, that's the most important, the train acts are important. Okay. So thank you very much for the opportunity. I will read us for your thanks. Thanks for the thank you. So I will be very, very thankful for the managing committee of this ICSF for ICHNI for giving this opportunity, for sharing the knowledge on the stock markets. I am very, very thankful. So hopefully the session is uh, useful for everyone sitting here for the time spent on Sunday. You understood some important insights on the stock markets. Okay. Today is my, not a trading day, I will say. I will have a trade live and show you, but still, the video is also making you aware of what is happening in the market. Okay. So, thank you very much. All the very best. Kabul, President of Company, Entrepreneur, Entrepreneurship and Investment Forum of Sikasa.
and Ram Charana, Joint Secretary of Sikasa to the Dais. I now invite Sia Rodhati Raghunathan Ma'am, Regional Council Member, to say a few words. Please, Ma'am. So, good evening, everyone. Good evening. You know, uh, when I came, entered this uh, premises, there was no one outside. So I thought, you know, I'm going to be there in the hall. And I looked in through the window, I saw a few heads. I opened the door and I was stunned. Full house. Okay, and then the energy in the hall. Oh my God, it was wonderful. But I have a small disappointment. Do you all want to know? I felt a little, in fact, a lot disappointed. I spent half an hour here, okay, and uh, hearing Kaushik and the way he spoke and the energy, I thought that when he completed, you will all stand up and give him a fantastic ovation. Okay, fine. He spent so much of time from morning, shared his knowledge with you, made it interesting. How many of you are going to become bonus? Come on! All of you should become bonus, right? Anyone planning to make money by becoming bears? Only bullets. All of you are going to be Rakesh or Ryan right? Yes, sir. One of the biggest words there no, today? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, you've all understood the share market very, very well. Yes, sir. So in future, you will also come here and talk about it. Have you all started? Have you all identified? Have you all uh, decided to open your accounts or do you all already have accounts? Yes. Trading accounts you all have? Yes. Started to trade? Yes. Do it a little more technically now? Yes. Instead of Shuma Tic Tac to Kote, newspaper, Yar Mangrango, Adit Patel. Adit Patel, you will do all the analysis, technical analysis and then, yes? Yes. So in another six months, you'll be able to finance your entire studies, your career, everything. Of course, you will be financing now, but... Right? Right? So much of energy was there in his class. I'm seriously disappointed. Why didn't I come here in the morning? Okay, because I don't do technical analysis. Minus something. I hit and miss. Most of the time I hit, but sometimes I miss. I wish I was here to actually learn the techniques of stock market investing. But when you do the stock market investing, like he said, you have to have a cautionary, a little bit of caution, right? You can always lose money. Okay, you can get carried away by the profits, but you should not get carried away. Always be grounded. Okay, be grounded because we are all having only hard-earned money. We don't, you know, you can't afford to lose it. Okay, it's very easy to open a zero-da account and start trading. Tuck, 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 tuck. And then start losing one day, Psh, everything will go down, right? So be sensible, use your knowledge what you have gained today. And invest sensibly. Trade also for the fun of it. You are all young, you can trade, but only a very small percentage of whatever you are having. Don't put 100% of your money in the market. Okay? There is one rule there. I think he will share that rule with you also later. In the next session that he comes, there is a rule for investing in the stock market. Or you can all read. I don't want to compete with Kaushik here. Oh my God, then and then you will say, you will start booing me out of this place if I tell you anything wrong because you are all experts today. On the way to becoming experts, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so I think that uh, 
Sikasa has done a wonderful, uh, wonderful initiative in bringing Kaushik here and ensuring that all of you are, uh, you know, engaged the whole day. I think that uh, the moment Kaushik's name was put up on the flyer, everyone registered and they came and they sat. You know, normally people will come, they'll sit and they'll go. But you have all sat through the entire day. I don't think that there can be any further vindication of his uh, caliber as a teacher to share a knowledge. <laughs> I think uh, teachers are very generous. They share their knowledge with you and they share their time. He's done both of that very, very, very generously and he's managed to keep you all engaged throughout the day. So I hope that all of you will definitely, you know, I cannot overstay my welcome here and I think he also has to catch a flight. So I'll uh, wish you all a lot of safe, careful and also rewarding investing, right? Where you are rewarding. Try not to lose too much of money. But of course, little bit of money, if you lose away, you learn more. But don't lose too much of money. Make it a very rewarding experience. Let me see a lot of Rakesh Tunjunwalas who are uh, Warren Buffett from this class and also Kaushik. Okay? Thank you very much. I now request CEO Ramati Ravi Madan Ma'am, Regional Council Member, to honor our speaker for the day, CEO Kaushik Ms. Bishan. Ms. Ma'am. Good evening, once again. Thank you for putting up with us and we're also sorry for the time delay. I take this opportunity to thank Mr. C.A. Kaushik Mukesh, who flew, who flew down all the way from Vijayawada to Chennai solely for the purpose of this seminar. I, and while the breaks, we had the opportunity to hear some of the students talking the Sikhas are some private organization doing classes. No, we're actually not. So I'd like to clarify on that part. Sikasa is actually a student's association by ICA for all CA students across the region. And right now, headed by, headed by me and its vice chairman for the southern region of five states. I would also thank Janani, our forum member, who had coordinated Sir for this and Kavan, our president of the Finby Forum, who was the brain behind it all. So once again, Sikasa is glad to have you all. Thank you.